but we en masse have slaughtered. Oh, dude, we're talking about millions of people in the Middle East, mm -hmm. just all over. You know, Vietnam, whatever, all of our wars, we are the ones that are going out yeah. and slaughtering and, and sacrificing. We're sacrificing. Do you realize that? When we go kill people, these are sacrifices. Oof, They're yeah. blood offerings mm, to mm, our mm, principality that we just talked oof, about. That's deep. When we abort, who are we killing to us? Yeah. Who are we sacrificing to? Blood Mollick. offerings, baby. Mm -hmm. Blood offering. It's human sacrifice. We've just rebranded. We've democratized. It. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he, I don't think that the majority realize it. Like, like even like of Christians, right? Like you see that. Hey, hey we rebranded. Right, right, right. We've right, rebranded. Right. Yeah. It's just different words. It's just, yeah. we, we've put these constructs around it, like democracy and freedom of choice, right? Mm -hmm. Human sacrifice. The end, the result is the same exact right. thing. You're sacrificing your child for convenience or for prosperity. Right. How's that any different than what the Mayans were doing when they were sacrificing their babies for freaking, uh, hey, for a good harvest? And for right. food, yeah, and for wealth, insane, it's literally the exact same thing. It's the exact same, same, it's same thing. Exact same thing. Bro, that is a fire hoodie, man. My screen oh. just went black. Are we back? We Why are, is it echoey? Why is it echoey? Maybe could just how about now? How about now? Still you sound echoey. good to me. No, echoey. When I talk, it's echoey. All right, hang on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me see. Every Let me see. 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 How about now? How about now? That's good. That's good. That's good. Right. Man, bro, what was it, Dennis? Know? What did you change this time? Dude, I didn't do anything. I Dude, just logged in. And then every it was... time. Every it's time a... we get on, you did something. There every time. Bro, that, mor mornings are not good. I look know, man. We uh, we need Ugh. to. Ugh. Yeah, you look like you look like hell. Let me get my head, dude. Not, ben. My even my tail, my tail's hanging. I can't see. You got to move more to the right, my right. Damn, dude, that's long, bro. Oh, it's super long. Bro, but it's usually on a bun. Oh my god, I'm, look I'm at bun this. head. You're divas. Oh my god, this is terrible. Uh, my hair right now will stay. My hair won't stay because I just washed it for the first time in a while. And so it's like silky smooth. So it keeps slipping. I feel bad for Rebecca. Does she like ever, does she like never touch your hair? Does she like never? Guess how long I went without touch, without washing my hair. I don't know I, if okay, I want to know. Listen, washing with like shampoo, I'll, I'll run water through it. But shampoo. Okay, so you'll rinse it. You rinse. just won't wash it with shampoo. Yeah. Gotcha. How long do you think it, it was? I just did it last, like three days ago. How long do you think it was before that? A week. <laughs> huh oh my god a month no it can't be longer than a month a month you went well, i guess if you're taking showers but still don't you, you get like showers. any what do you any what dude why does it keep my screen keeps flickering it's are rough. you following that one guy on instagram who said he doesn't like wash his hair anymore or, like he brushes his teeth with some kind of like wool or something i'm not gonna lie you know what it I'm was about? four months no way maybe three but uh probably between three and so three what and four. what's the result it's been fantastic and it really was because of some guy on instagram <laughs> <laughs> he had if it's the same guy he has amazing hair i, mean, I don't, let's, I don't know lie. if it's the same guy but listen for a month it's pretty nasty and by nasty i just mean it's like greasy okay yeah yeah uh but after a month Oh, after a month, it kind of like it, it doesn't look that greasy. It looks a little bit more dry and it just kind of gets better with time. And the whole premise is, bro, think about this. God didn't make us with like toxin that comes I out know. of our pores I and know. destroys our hair. The oils on our head and in our like the sebum at the base of our scalp and stuff that goes into our hair. Sebum. Sebum. Don't. Don't do it. I'm leaving it right there. You leave it, Living it right to, you, to you the imagination right of the there. listeners, the viewers. Sebum. It's a medical term. There is no imagination. It's defined. Okay, listen, sure. miss. Uh, it's those oils are good for your scalp so, and your hair. What's, and people, nothing's coming out of that sebum. I don't know if there is, but okay. all I'm saying is my hair is looking 
Great. You know, I mean, it looks and, the same to and, me. And I know people who stopped washing their hair for months at a time and their hair started growing back. What? And I have, I have friends that like make fun of me that I don't wash my hair and they all use like Rogaine and are getting like hair transplants and wow. shit. And I'm like, why are you making fun of me? I'm, I'm doing great. Ben, I might take you up on this offer. I don't know. You got, your hair looks fine. Here's the problem with shampoos. They all have like detergents in them. Mm -hmm. All of them. They all have yeah. these detergents and they're, it's literally bleach. You're just bleaching your hair. Yeah. And then you're like worried that your hair is like falling out and it's thinning and you know what I mean? And the same, dude, the same companies that make Rogaine are also making most of the like popular shampoos. Yeah, it makes shampoos. sense. It's all like the so, FDA so they, thing, right? They yeah. make your hair fall out and then they sell you a solution. Yeah, yeah. You know it makes I mean? perfect sense. It's genius. Yeah. Evil That's why genius. I don't trust dentists anymore. I don't trust. I don't trust dentists at all. I think that they're. I think I it's a big have, scam. I, dentists are a scam. I, well, some. I have to have surgery on my mouths. Oh no! In like two weeks because oh, I have to no. get. I have two root canals. Okay, I have that to get sucks. both of them pulled out. Both of my root canals have to get killed, pulled out. Then they have to go in and clean it all out. Mm -hmm. And then I have to stay with my teeth missing in the back for <gasps> six months until it heals. No way. And then I have to go get implants in the back. You can do this in Romania? No. Hell no. Am I going to freaking come back without a jaw? Are you out of your Dude, mind? I heard it was good if you go there. How about yeah, Mexico? For like the 80% of people that come back with their jaws and Ooh. everybody else isn't complaining or they're not on YouTube telling you that they lost their jaw in Romania. This is true. Hey, Many um, are not. But it's all because root canals, a hundred percent of root canals go bad. 100%. This is a oh, known really? fact. Yes. And so you have to do, you have to extract it and you have to do like a ceramic implant. You can't do any metal, mm. any metal in your mouth. You're poisoning yourself constantly. Mm. And that's why a lot of people have chronic health issues is because they have like metal fillings. Or yeah. Metal I've heard of that too. Stuff yeah. like that. It's completely, completely, completely toxic. Ben, everything is messed up, dude. Everything like this whole world, us. like this whole, everything, everything is killing, killing us. us. Yeah. No, Welcome but... to Ben is the menace <laughs> where everything is killing us. What a way to start this show, these morbid topics. But at least your hair looks it's great true. and uh, you. you're healthy you. and you're, hopefully your mouth thing gets, goes okay. Thank you. And hopefully your sea bums are good. And My sea bums is great. No complaints. Um, it's good. Your yeah, sea bums looking good. Um, Thank you. Um, we won't do a welcome yet, right? We're going to wait till Mr. No, but this is members only. Oh, this is members only. For our non-members. Actually here, Dennis, somebody asked me, oh, hey, no. how do I sign up for the membership thing? Cause I tried and I couldn't figure it out. Oh, no way. So I need to like, I need to look into it. I've never tried. Yeah. I don't know. I've never I thought tried. it was going to be easy. <laughs> I thought you just click subscribe. Yeah. YouTube's. Figure it out. Hmm. Right, but that was nice of someone to ask. Wow. Imagine yeah. how many hundreds of followers or subscribers we could have had by now because of that glitch. <laughs> right. Damn it, YouTube. Right. <laughs> Boob tube. I really, really digging your, your hoodie there. Thanks, bro. I wear it almost every day. Aw. I'm serious. He's, it's a great hoodie. It's I like, didn't know it's he was thick. slanted. You know Does what the I mean? back have anything on it? No, the back doesn't have no. anything. Okay. So well, it's just... slanted because he's flying. I get it. No, it's cool. it's cool. You know what I mean? It's cool. I'm good with that. Well, it, makes good with that. it makes Dude, sense. It makes sense. Lots of alien stuff happening. Oh, I know. We're going to talk to Josh about it. Yeah, we'll talk to Josh. I can't wait to talk to Josh. <laughs> hey, I listened to our, uh, to catch up because we're talking about like multiverse and how it's mm -hmm. in God's mind and stuff again, you know? Yeah, stuff that I just can't comprehend. Sure. I, 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 sh I should have told you yesterday to listen to the chat we did with Cameron like a year ago. Hmm. Mm. on this topic it was in august of last year and i listened to the whole thing it was pretty good yeah it was pretty Proud good yourself no i'm just saying it was good okay like the discussion with everybody mm -hmm. you mean yeah. cam or anyone else no me uh, you and cam okay. our conversation together yeah, yeah, yeah. was good yeah, I just, you know i was thinking if there's someone else in there no okay. no 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 just us three um, um it was good it was a good refresher too there was stuff in there Especially when Cam was asking questions that I'm like, oh, those are good questions. Mm. And then I weasel my way out of it. And I'm like, nice, Ben. <laughs> I love that you recognize that. Yeah. And then, I, did, uh, I, I didn't even remember what I was going to say. So it was like a shock to me when I said, I'm like, that's a good point. <laughs> that's in there somewhere. Are you huh? going to be able to ask those questions to Mr. Peck later? I, I wrote down, I wrote stuff down on my phone. Okay, cool. Dude, my freaking monitor keeps flickering. Hey, while you're 
uh, messing with your flickering. Um, how was Hawaii? Oh, so good. What uh, what goodies did you come back with? From goodies. Hawaii? Yeah, like you know, like what did you? Uh, what relaxed, did you experience? A what did you mind? Good, good. A nice, beautiful tan. Oh, a a yes, sun-kissed bottom. Oh, so it means you're going. Did you go to Baby Beach over there? And where'd you guys go? Did you guys go to uh, Maui? Baby Beach. What you, the you heck heard is of Baby that? Beach? Oh my god, I did go to Baby Beach. <laughs> so right I by, for, I thought it was for babies. Right by Baby Beach, there's this hill that you. I think it's when you're looking at the ocean on Baby Beach is on the right hand side, and then you walk up this like hillish mountain looking thing, small, and then on the other side is is a uh, nude. It's like a nude. Uh, I'll admit, area. I did see one pair of tatas. You did. Nice. Yeah, but but it was at Baby Beach. <laughs> oh, yeah, they cross so, over. I so guess I think, they come. In. I think some zombie like moseyed over. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. They come yeah. right. They come okay. over. Yeah, it's, it's happened. Yeah, Baby uh, Beach is nice. I like it there. That was that was actually a pretty cool spot. Mm-hmm. Good waves. Good waves. Yeah, um, the news know what's up. They do, but uh, it was good. That's why I washed my hair was because I had too much sand in it. Oh uh, yeah, that would make sense. You have to then. Well, you I have mean, to. but again, I don't know if you have to because they didn't have shampoo back in the day, did they? I mean, I'm sure they had some kind of soap and stuff, but they also, they like... I think, some of them shaved their heads. If you don't and you have salt in your hair and stuff, I think it like it it dreads. Right, but still, I'm sure that you don't think water just can get it out, like just um, plain water. Plain water, yeah. Plain water. As long as you rinse, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I can understand also though with all the crap that we put in the air today, and the, you know our food and stuff like all the secretions from our sebums. Um, what's what's happening? You know, I think uh, you know I can understand. You know, I, I bought this um, aloe vera thing with uh, like this Hawaiian plant extract that was supposed to be like shampoo. It's like natural shampoo. It's mm, actually really mm. cool. Uh, Annabelle uses it now all the time, and wow. it's, it's yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's not the cheapest thing, but it's like. I don't know. It seems good. I don't know how to tell, like, if it's healthy or not or what. But right, I just, not, nothing's healthy anymore. It's insane. Yeah, I feel like any, plant, anything like... you buy is unhealthy. Yeah, you I agree. literally have to like grow it yourself, make it yourself, kill it yourself. And even then, you have to like be you care, be careful where you get your soil from, like what's right. in it. You know what you're right. what you're feeding it. Um, yep, it's insane. the water. Now, they might take out the fluoride, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. There. I, I don't like know, the, man. All this the, stuff. Sorry, but all this stuff just seems like too good to be true. Like I, I, I'm just with Trump. Yeah, like all these. I don't know, bro. We don't have time to get into this. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna no, have we, to do a full are. episode just on this. All right, fine. I'm still not optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all. <sighs> I, think I, I was for like a for like a half a day. I wasn't, and then I was like, never. When the I whole saw time. all those videos that he started putting out, and then all the choices that he started making, I was like, yeah, this is too good to be true. Like. This not, is too good. not that it's too good to be true, but all of this has been anticipated and planned for, you know? I think I've been saying even, that for hey, years. Even, even while uh, even, we were in Hawaii watching, because my parents were with us, you know? We were in Hawaii watching the elections, and, like, my mom, bro, is on the freaking sc- – she's in front of the TV with her phone, like, recording the TV, <laughs> you know? And she's got this, like – Why, does she post it to, like <laughs> – No, <laughs> she's, like, sending okay. it to her friends in Romania. <laughs> Who awesome. are also watching the same TV. Right, right. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> like we and know. They're, they're like, they're counting the numbers. They're saying that he's up and stuff. And like, my mom's like tearing up and stuff. And everybody's so excited. And I'm just in the back corner, like, we're going to go to war. <laughs> like, yeah. did, you see, did you see even now Biden, Biden approved uh, long range missiles for Ukraine and, saw, and, and yeah. approved the use of them to strike in Russia. Dude, before, right. before he gets in, they're going to start some shit. I, I think Guaranteed. they, I think they Guaranteed. will too. Yeah. And this is what I said last time. They're going to hand him a, a flaming pile of crap. Yeah. They're gonna, yeah. The world, they're going to burn for the sure. world to the ground and give it to him and blame him for it. You know, <laughs> and that's economically too. I think the economic thing is going to be the big one. There's probably going to be, uh, under Trump, there's going to be some kind of economic recession or global what do you think meltdown. About all this crypto stuff, though, man, it's going crazy. Uh, it's going crazy to attract more people to it so that they can make the switch over. This crypto is the backbone on which the um, CBDC will be built and launched. You know what I mean? But you think and all it, these, you think like Bitcoin is going to like it's going to go to zero? I mean, you think or do you think it's going to be the, the no, digital gold that they're no, talking about? They'll, they'll probably. I don't know if it'll be digital gold. I don't know. It might be. 
it might be that would be a really good way for them to remove physical gold's yeah. value yeah while they gobbled up early on yeah. uh btc you know bitcoin and once they make the the transition over to digital currencies they'll be like well hey btc's still around like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is our digital gold now right physical gold you could trade it in for digital currency but um it won't have any value anymore you know right just amongst people who own the gold themselves they'll be like they'll trade you but mm -hmm. who cares you can't take it and monetize it into a digital system right that's the whole point of not being able to buy or sell right right right, right. that's the whole point is you can't you can't bypass their digital system yeah it's are gonna be stuck hey when um dang i wonder if we should ask oh maybe we should ask peck this Dang it, stupid monitors flicking. Hey, um... Are you giving me shit about sound? Yeah, bro, but I didn't change anything. I'm ha Oh, my computer. Bro, all my stuff's gone off my computer. How did it break? I have no idea. There was something with the logic board, I think they said. They had to replace it. Um, what okay. Pain. Okay, hey, let's talk about Peck real quick. Yeah. Okay? Um... So I was talking to him. I said we should talk about three things. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. But then it kind of expanded a little bit, you know? Uh, Josh. How much time does he have? You know? I think a couple hours. So we should be good. Burn, cool. burn. Uh, okay. Did you know that there was new hearings in Congress about UAPs and disclosure mm -hmm. and stuff I like that? I just saw that last night. Okay. Or... So I asked him if he watched that and uh, if we could get an update on what was said. Um, so maybe we should we start with multiverse or alien stuff? Um. Well, what are we heavily more weighted on? I mean, because the alien stuff is more relevant as far as what what happened recently. I I I agree. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say we start. I just want to ask him. Hey, uh, we don't need to talk about this. Oh. Oh no. Hold on. I'm going to pause this real quick. I, uh, Father, please be with uh, Peck and his family, Josh and his family. Yeah. Be with them and their kids and their hearts right now and um, comfort them. Send the comforter, Lord. Uh, remind them of your word. Remind them that you love them and that you are near and that you hear them. And that you're with them through this time, let them find more of you. And uh, through this process, let them know and learn more about your character, God. And uh, give them the faith that they need uh, to get through this and the strength. Uh, because that's where we come to when uh, when we need it, Jesus. It's you. You are our fortress. You are our shield. You are our deliverer. You are our rock and our foundation, Father. In your name we pray. Mm. Amen. Uh, that's rough, man. That's so sad. Yeah, dude. Um, you know, all that, you know, as a segue into like pain and suffering and all this stuff, man, it's just, it's, it's, it's everywhere you go. And if you, if you open yourself up to it more by like caring for people and like, you know, asking people how they're doing, man, you just see it's how prevalent it is. Um, but the, what I'm learning, Ben, is that there's so much, uh, of God that he gives himself to us during that time. There's so much grace that we have access to in that time. Um, and it's really quite amazing. Sugar! I heard something. Let me go check. It's me. Surprise! Dude, every time we want to do a members only, it ends up becoming It's the feds. The feds have shown up. They got us. They got us, folks. Sorry, Bro. man. I guess they had a like a property management inspection. That That's what they never... said. You know, it was the feds. It probably was. I was going to get Freaking arrested. Knocking our that door been down. Amazing if I got arrested and live like, on live. <laughs> you just hear you should have came over. To, you should have came over and flipped the camera around so we could watch it. <laughs> like man. <laughs> yeah, 
Help. Call my attorney. <laughs> hey, and the whole time I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. How dare you? What do I do, oh, Lord? Destroy when, I looked the child. At, when I looked at the Corrupt. people, I was like, oh, man. Oh, what is this? <laughs> oh shoot! There was a second there. <laughs> yeah, there was a second. Oh I was like, no! <laughs> like oh no! <laughs> to talk about timing, man, these, these oh, guys no. are on it. <laughs> like then they're like uh, they're like, "Hi, we're with the," and they go into their pocket. You like slam the door. <laughs> you jump out, I run the, out back the back. <laughs> You so, throw sugar at them. <laughs> like sugar, sorry, sugar. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, she just pees on him. She's like, I'll get on. Just I literally him. heard everything that happened. <laughs> Did you hear and that? that she peed on the floor and you almost stepped in it. <laughs> that is pretty sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They just kind of do a check, but they didn't email. I didn't get an email. I shouldn't have let him in. I should probably, like, no, we're not going to let you in. Thank yeah. You in. Be like, I'm in the middle of something. I just don't want to like schedule that later. It's like, I hate doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have no time Stupid. for this stuff. This is well, the first hey. time they did this. It looks like it's turning into our uh, not members only. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, this is—I make... think this is the second or third members only that ended up turning into <laughs> a, a public episode. A public. So it's a good thing you didn't make the sebum joke. <laughs> I, I did. No, you didn't. I, oh, you wanted I, to. I didn't. You didn't. Yes. Okay. You didn't. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Venice to Venice, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is, uh, what are we, two weeks into the elections, after the elections. We have um, um, lots, of, lots of stuff to talk about today. Um, lots of stuff. And so thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe, uh, comment, share, show us some love. Um, Comment uh, on Ben's uh, beautiful hair and his amazing attire right now today. Look at that. I'm going to launch that. the store. I'm going to launch the store. Stay tuned. I'm not going to talk shit because I don't do shit. So. Oh, my gosh. Um, bro, bro. Watch your profanity. You know, it is – what day is it? It's Monday. Today is a Monday you're, at you're fresh. noon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, this is uh, – Dennis goes hard on the weekends where he just lets his tongue fly and then it's hard for him to reel it back in on Monday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Take and we time. usually don't do a Monday morning no, no. episode. So you're uh Yeah, I like the evenings, I, man. I like the I like evenings too. I'm more of a like night owl. Too. Me too. I mean I do wake up early, but I don't want to do anything but just like hang. Jesus, <laughs> I don't want to talk to anybody in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> like, wanna... I'm the same way. I is, I'm the same way. Except for I, it takes me like 20 minutes of scrolling on Instagram before my mind wakes up. Oh, really? That's not yeah. good, Ben. Don't do that in the morning, man. Don't do it. No, listen, man. Seriously, if you put your phone in a different room and do not look at it first thing in the morning, and instead, yeah, but what if there's an emergency like, listen, and somebody calls no, me in the middle no of the night? Emergency. Which has you're never good. happened you're in exactly. my whole life. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Just put it in a different room, bathroom, something. That's just crazy. No, listen to me, man. Do it because it, when you wake up, man, fill your head with 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 the things of God before you do it with this with this smut. That we do every, I mean, cause you do enough of it. We do enough of it right during the day. And, and so just, man, trust me, dude. I was thinking the other day, it's I was like, be man, so hard, dude, we are, we are like so enslaved to our screens. Like it's, oh yeah, it's constant, man. And yeah. it, it's hard to like even sit. Like I see myself at church <sighs> and we have two big screens and I kind of sit closer to the front so I can actually look at the the pastor, you know, and I have yeah. to look at the screen and I still find myself looking at the screens, man. It's so crazy. Dude, but the internet's so funny. It is. It is. And I agree. I, I, it's my entertainment. I'd rather scroll through Instagram than watch something on TV. hundred percent. Right. 100%. Like TV yeah. sucks. No, it's terrible. Even it's through the Tyson terrible. fight, that was totally rigged and whatever. That mm. was such trash. It was so trash. I, I, we literally wasted four hours of our lives like that night. Did I was you? just like. Did you see that thing I sent you about the contract? Yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson wasn't allowed mm -hmm. to uppercut. Right, you can't uppercut him, and like three first three rounds, he has to like stay in there. 
uh, he had to let it go to like the sixth, seventh, and eighth round to, to get even, paid that. To, to get his twenty mil. Yeah. Anything under like the sixth round would cut into his into his uh profits you know? so they, they couldn't let him win at all either i mean so like even if he wanted to come like at in round, in round seven and just like obliterate him he couldn't i don't know that's just the two points that they made in that video was that he wasn't allowed to uppercut and that he had to let it go at least i think six or seven rounds you know or else he wouldn't get his 20 mil uh I, dude i mean i doubt most of our listeners care but listen i don't blame tyson at all that was paul's that was logan's fight to win and he yeah. couldn't do it. And he couldn't freaking do it. You know Oh, what I mean? yeah. He couldn't do it. He couldn't put him down. He couldn't. He couldn't... <laughs> yeah. And Tyson was like f basically contractually fighting with less than one arm, you know? Yeah. True. Um, but, hey, you know what would have been smart? If, if Logan let Tyson knock him out. Because you know everybody's paying to watch these fights hoping that these guys get knocked out. Right, right, right. That oh, the yeah. Paul brothers get knocked oh, out. Oh, yeah. That's why everybody's watching them. Yeah. If he would have let him knock if he would have let Tyson knock him out, okay, people would have been ecstatic. They would have been on. They, they I would think have been, so too. They would have lost their minds. Okay? I would. I mean, Tyson I would, awesome. would get like a little bit of a comeback, you know, a little mm -hmm. pep in his step. And then Paul, he would challenge somebody else. He'd call mm -hmm. somebody else out, and people would pay and watch it again. Oh yeah, hoping yeah. he gets knocked out again. But in yeah. this fight. He goes all out and knocks out his opponent, and then people are pissed. Then he calls somebody else out, and people will watch that one to see if this was just a fluke. Right. So right, right. he would have the next two fights in the bag. Like people yeah. would watch them. Yeah. Whereas now his next fight, I, nobody's going to pay for that. It's going to be the same crap. I think he he shot himself in the foot. Like, Absolutely, I really do. He um, didn't win. This was a loss for him. I would I would watch though. I, I saw that Tate called him out. I would watch that. I would watch a Tate. Um, oh Tate. Yeah. I, I would watch that because I think I, I, that would, I would actually be too, good because it's not a boxer either. But it's all I mean, about the contract. What if in the contract it's like, hey, you can't uppercut. Right. Hey, you I mean, can't. Yeah, you're right. You're right. If, if, punch if it, me. I like, mean, but then that. What's the point? Then what's that's the freaking point? All of these then, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, they, they should do like a street fight. Don't ever do it. Don't ever agree to that. They should do like. Okay, not a street fight, but just like. Yeah, no, they, there's just too much money to. Mm -hmm. It's all money, man. All money. That's what it is. It, 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 money and power, dude. But that's why this theory, you know, would have been a good one. If he lost, it would have secured the next two fights for him, for sure. Isn't that crazy, though, for Tyson to go from like $300 million to, you know, 20? Well, I think he had like twenty-six million dollars in bankruptcy. Like when he filed oh. bankruptcy, he was like in debt twenty-six million. I think his net Whoa. worth was ten million when we checked on Saturday. Um, and just because you know revenues from TV stuff and commercials and um, appearances, but yeah, and then and then and he got jacked. Like he he was uh, you know he got jacked from by his one of his uh, managers or wow. coaches things like that. Um, but. To like be at this point at fifty eight years old and then like have to, I mean, I, I mean, he could have done something else. He didn't have to do this, but still, I mean, I'd do it for twenty million. <laughs> for me sure, I'd do it. Yeah, just don't kill me, and I'll be fine. <sighs> I mean, even if I don't know, cares, but like <laughs> twenty million is like, a lot of money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, well, I know, but like, I know. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I whatever. Just just throw me in there. Wait, wait, wait. Let's think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how much would somebody have to pay you? But you get knocked out so fast, though. though. You no, know no. that, right? You wouldn't not, last. You wouldn't even last a round. To, no, how long? How much would somebody have to pay you for you to die? I mean, that's that's a really good question because I know, like, because it's kind we, of a win-win. Win. Win, win. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, well, not that much. I guess that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that's if it's legit, would, like, God's not mad. Everything's cool. Hey, like, that's why <laughs> when you're like, just don't kill me. I'm like, well. <laughs> Hold on coming. a second here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah I we got nothing to lose, man. We, you know, we're well, we're good, and our, and our people be, that we leave that money to, have any, like as long as it goes to the yeah. people that we love, right? Like, yeah. But man, That's how funny. fast? You know, I was talking to some guys that I had over for the fight, and they were just like, "Man, if I had twenty million dollars, man, my life would be like this, like this, and right. like this, and like this." And this conversation got, and I'm just like, "Dude, do you guys realize what you're saying? Like, how stupid that is for us to think like right. that, like." And they're, you know, we're all believers and stuff thinking, and they're like, yeah, you're right, man, this is just stupid. And like, but just, just like that, man, like we're so easily, um, persuaded just like yeah. that, just, just, 
you know, because 20 million is nothing. To, it's just money. It's just numbers. It's nothing like. Bro, you know what else is crazy about that fight? Tell um, me, Ben. Tell me. Uh, you know, so it was what, Friday, which was like the 15th yeah. of November. November 15th. Right? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Do you know that it wasn't scheduled for originally? It wasn't scheduled for November fifteenth. It was scheduled it, for July twentieth. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, and then something it, happened with Tyson, right? Yeah, something happened. It got postponed. Okay, yeah, yeah, rescheduled yeah, yeah, yeah. for November fifteenth. Uh, that's right. That's right. Okay, you know how many people watched the fight Friday, like globally, total no. viewers, sixty no. million. Okay, went a lot. That's Dang. a lot of people. Netflix banked. Yeah, when their freaking servers weren't crashing. Mine uh, didn't go that bad. Mine, mine... Oh, ours were terrible. Really? No, we ended up having to watch it on a phone with like no. 30 people on one phone. Oh, no. That's dude, terrible. Mine, mine hung like three times, but like really for a little bit, and then it was fine. Mm. I anyway. thought it was going to be way worse. So thir uh, 60 million people watched it. Okay. Dang. Bro, you know what? Conspiracy. That's globally, though. Right? Conspiracy time. Yeah, globally. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy time. You know what else happened? The exact same day, November 15th. I bet you didn't even hear about this. <laughs> no. Uh, Friday, did you know, Friday, Friday, the 15th of November. I don't remember anything that day that was like crazy. Aliens? We wish. Hey, <laughs> I wish to. The Pentagon mm -hmm. failed its seventh uh, fiscal audit, like $825 billion budget that they can't account for. Bro, how, how is this possible? How does this even make any sense? Oh, well, it makes perfect sense. Well, yeah, I mean, that part makes sense, like that they actually failed, but like what? How, and they talk I, I, about I, it like they tell us about it they're like oh uh, we can't find and they're seventh in a row what open, completely open out in the open no consequences seventh budget that That's they cannot nice. account for uh missing funds they can't they can't give you like receipts for where they've spent 825 billion dollars it's incredible Dude, it's freaking incredible. How how is this possible though? Like, no, but for real. Like, how do they how can they not keep track of eight hundred and twenty? How much money are they spending in the first place? Probably eight hundred and twenty five billion dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, I would think that that would be all of it, but that means that they just don't have any records for anything. Like, where is this going? Uh I bet a bunch of it's going to like black ops and stuff that is hidden and can't be talked about. This is but there's like no consequences. It doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They don't have to. They don't have to account for it. So do they tell us just because they're just like, <laughs> like let's see what happens? <laughs> or like what is the point? Well, they, like, they they tell us because they're legally they're being asked. Okay. By Congress, so, hey, you guys, what happened to the money? Give us an account. And they're like, uh, well, here's where we spent six hundred billion, but we can't really. We don't know what happened to two hundred fifty billion. It's accounting errors. They don't have to. It doesn't matter. There's no. This is. This is the problem. There's no consequences in this country. Yeah. No consequences. If you're in any position of power or right. work for the state, for the government, doesn't matter. There are no consequences. You could do anything you want, you know? And that is kind of what uh, hopefully this election solves. Maybe. I wonder if Trump is going to say anything about it. Because that's mm. a big deal, dude. Mm. It's not I like wonder, $2 billion. It's I wonder 824 if, 25 you know what happened? You know what happened a couple of days or the day? Oh, might have been the day before 9-11. You know what happened the day before 9-11? The, the, the same thing. The Pentagon couldn't account for, uh, I forget. Shut they up. they failed their, like, yeah, they failed their, I think, third or fourth audit or whatever it was. They couldn't account for hundreds of billions of dollars. That was the day before 9-11. Oh, my goodness. You, did you know that? No, I didn't know that. You should look that one up. You wow. should look that one up. Yep, day before now. Pretty incredible stuff, bro. What do you think about the uh, election victory? I'm. Uh, I was happy at first. I was like, "Man, this is this is pretty cool to see and witness." Um, but I became quickly suspicious um, within a couple of days. Suspicious about what? That. Uh, how the the left just is bending at it, like they're just like the leadership of the left is just kind of like, oh well, yeah, we need a smooth transition. We need, you know, they're not fighting it, dude. They're not fighting it like they did yes. with with Hillary, right? Um, that's one thing. What's that? Or with Biden? Or, or yeah, sorry, yeah, or with Biden, right? Um, they're not. Um, 
So that, that was a major one. And then also the stuff that Trump is putting out, like we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Like every single thing that he's coming out with and saying we're going to do, that my administration is going to do is incredible. Like I, it's like what every, what the majority of, of, of this nation wants to hear. But. And you're suspicious of that? I'm suspicious that, yeah. I'm, I think it's like getting our hopes up to get us so like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. It's like that savior complex again thing. And then we're going to be so let down that f either from fighting from the left or um, just our own self imploding in, in, you know, in Trump. Um, and then we're going to just be even more divided. I think all of this is just to cause more and more and more division. I'm trying to see the division in this and I'm not, you know, that's what I see. I see more division than I see a unity in this, in these moments, more division. Um, even though like if you're living in the conservative world and you're just like, oh yeah, this is going to be amazing. Like you talk to people, they're like, oh, we're going to have the best four years of our lives. It's going to be so incredible and all these things. Uh, I don't think so. Like, yeah. And especially with what, what's happening in the world. Um, you know, in the financial markets, um, like the cracks that you talked about earlier, like people are starting to see through the cracks um, of the systems and things like that's causing division itself, right? Even the ability to see those cracks. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm very suspicious and, you know, I think it'll be a, a, a miracle if he makes it to January 6th. Oh, you mean like... He's not going to, he's going to get assassinated or what? No, I think that it's just, I don't think that, I think that they're going to do something to like, make sure it doesn't happen, that he gets an honor. To remove him or something like that? Yeah. And just postpone it or whatever. Um, and, and I hope I'm wrong, but again, I don't think, I say I hope I'm wrong, but then I don't think Trump really has, I don't know. Say it, bro. I don't think he can do anything. I, I think that, like you said earlier, things are planned. Things are on their way. Um, I think we're already slaves to the system uh, willingly. I don't think people really want to be healed. I don't think people really want change. I think people get really comfortable with their lives um, really mm. fast. And they're not, it's, I mean... I mean, just, just look at taxes. Why aren't we outraged about taxes, man? We should be outraged. We should have been outraged for, for I think decades. People are, now. but the system's set up in such a way that you can't do anything about it. Right. And, and I, you probably right. Hey, people, people want change, but just superficial change, not like mm -hmm. deep change. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think people are scared of the deep change. Hey, cause deep change requires revolution. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and an overthrow of the existing system, the existing okay. system. That's okay, what it hang takes. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't so know, listen. listen, as Christians, I don't know if we're supposed to be on board for something like that. Because again, I think we're supposed to operate within the existing confines of the system. But I'm just saying, practically, if that's what people really wanted was real change, they'd have to uproot and overthrow. Um, so that's what I think. Okay. That's what I think evangelicals are wrong because they think that we need to overthrow to that's change what I, things. That's what I think. Okay. Hang on. Isn't that exactly what the, what the Jews thought when Jesus came? Not only is that what the Jews thought, but that's also what the left thinks today. What do you mean? The left thinks that they need to overthrow the existing system. To implement oh, yeah, yeah, communism. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. We both think that. <laughs> we both think that. Yeah. Because everybody agrees the existing system is right. broken. Right, right. So what, so what are we looking for? What is it? What, 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 did, what did the Israelites look what did, what did the Israelites look for when, when they, uh, before King Saul? Why did they want to get a king? Because that's to what be, the other nations had. Right. So, and then the Jews did the same thing. They're looking for their Messiah, right? Their, 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 their king to come and overthrow the Romans, right? Yeah. And oppression and all that, right? So the left and the right, we're fighting for the same thing. But we're looking, we're waiting for the kingdom. When Jesus himself said, the kingdom is at hand, everything that I've brought to you, everything, to go and, and, and do and follow and teach uh, exactly what I commanded you to do. Jesus didn't say, like, wait for the Savior. He said, right. do what I told you to do. And this is what goes back in the kingdom living, right? Go and do these things. 
I believe the evangelicals have been duped by 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 churches and and, and pastors that are just misled um, by by even these this the school system even in the in the in the in the what they're, what they're called the seminary school systems, right? I think they're jacked up, dude. Like the the the, the talent that's coming out of these schools, like oh, it's dumb. terrible, right? So all these things, we're 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 so self deceived, dude. And we're all like, oh, we just need to overthrow. Then these other guys are saying the same thing. We're saying right, but we're waiting for a savior when the savior has already come. And he revealed himself to the world and he says, Hey, live like I taught you to live and everything. Yeah. You don't have to wait till things get overthrown. He came into the system. He could have overthrown it. He could have totally called on his myriad of angels, right? And then bam. Yeah. But he didn't. He went one at a time. He went person to person to person, it's, healing it's, and changing. It's a savior complex, right? Like right. we're not evangelicals or Christians aren't willing to live out and make the changes required. Right. We're right. waiting for someone else to do it. We're waiting for a president or mm -hmm. whatever is going mm -hmm. to come save us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And make and make those changes happen for us. Yeah, it's primed uh, for for an antichrist, if you want to look at it, right? It's primed it kinda, for it kinda, a new world. It kind of is. It's primed. It We're primed is. for it. Yeah, everybody and wants it. I wouldn't doubt that. Like, I don't. Everybody expects the antichrist to come onto the picture or the beast, you know, to come mm -hmm. onto the picture and for it to be super super obvious. I don't think it's going to be that obvious. I think a lot of even like. Christians are going to be like, yeah, that guy's good. Yeah, you for know sure. what I mean. Um, I don't think it's just going to be some guy with horns like shooting fire from heaven. Yeah, no, like, no I don't way, think it's going to be that obvious. No, 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 um, no. He's going to be able to deceive a lot of people, uh, including Christians. And like, dude, for the for the elections, like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I just, I'm a pessimist. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think things get better. They might, mm -hmm. we might have like a reprieve temporarily. You know, it might be. It might be a break from the insanity, but something you hit on, dude, I think it was like, I think it was too easy. Yeah. I think it was too easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now everybody's kind of, like you said, kind of just like, no pushback. Right. All they're, all they're saying is like, oh no, this isn't good for us, but there's no, where's the riots? Yeah. Where's the freaking riots? Why aren't they calling for, for riots like they did before? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In 2016. Yeah. Why aren't they burning cities down? Where's the bricks and the blocks? You know, on where's the corners. The like, exactly. Where is all that stuff? Where is all the crazy rhetoric? Mm -hmm. Where's you know? Where is it all? Where's they're BLM? Even, dude, they're not even trying. Have you seen the? Uh, have you seen the numbers comparing the the votes? Yeah, like the 18, 20 million are gone or just like missing. Yeah, watch. I'll read it for you real quick. Uh, so. This is so crazy. They didn't even try, bro. They didn't even try to steal this. <laughs> know, you see what I'm try. saying? They didn't, yeah. they didn't freaking try. Okay, right. so it, Kamala, she got 73.8 million votes. So let's just say 74 million, okay? Trump got 76.5. Actually, you know what? Hey, do you have a pen? Write this down. Mm -hmm. Write this down. So just that we could track it, okay? So Kamala... 73 no let's say 70 74 million 74, mm -hmm. and trump 76.5 mm -hmm. okay then let's go to biden uh biden got 81 million votes <laughs> in 2020 mm -hmm. 81 freaking million okay let me see how many votes did freaking trump get in 2020 how many votes did trump oh poop, come on 74 million. Donald Trump received 74 million votes in 2020. And how many did he get in 2024? 76.5. 76. 76. Yeah, so, so he and gained million. two and a half million. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Clinton got duh, 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 in 16, she got 65.5. Eight, call it 66 million votes. And Trump got 63 million votes. Okay. So, How so many? 63 million. And this was two, 2016. Mm -hmm. So, so as of right now, how many more votes did Joe Biden get than Kamala Harris? Uh, seven million more. Seven million more, mm -hmm. and so, then four and a half more than Trump. Okay, so there's seven million votes missing from the Democratic freaking party. 
Right. Trump, didn't, Trump didn't get him. Trump didn't get seven million more votes. Yeah, than he, he, yeah. It, it, well, in essence, he got. F- he's still four and a half million short from that, so he should have gotten those. So it would be like almost twelve million that are kind of like out of play. Uh, well, as far as votes, I'm just saying a seven million vote difference between Kamala and Joe Biden, right? Yeah, in four years, and and mm-hmm. those didn't move. They over didn't move right to Donald yeah. Trump. How many more votes did Trump get this year than? Yeah, two and a half million. So you got two and a half million more votes. So where did those come from? Let's prob- let's say from the Democrats. Joe Joe Rogan endorsed him. Elon Musk endorsed him. RFK came on board. Tulsi Gabbard. Okay, Gabbard's so all that's all, all previous five Democrats. million though. Still, there's mm-hmm. five million missing votes from mm-hmm. the Democrat part. The Democrat <laughs> from the Democrat Party. Five million yeah. missing. Votes. You're telling me five million liberals stayed home, right? And during didn't the most vote important in this election, election. <laughs> right? It doesn't make sense. The numbers it don't add it up. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make yeah. any freaking sense. But hey, mail-in voting. But and listen, you know, and the you know majority weird, of Dennis? people don't even. You could even tell them this, and they're like, "Well, oh, oh well, oh well, something happened. Who knows?" Hey, yeah. mail-in voting is still around. Yeah, yeah it exactly. Didn't, I it, know, didn't I get, it didn't right? get replaced. It's, mm-hmm. It didn't get shut down. It's still around. People still right. voted by mail this time around. Hey, and five million people didn't vote this time for the left. You know, uh, bro, it, it, they didn't even try. They didn't even try to take it for freaking Kamala. Or nah. Kamala. I don't even know what it is. Because, um, um, dude, 5 million votes. You realize that they could have just put like 50,000 here, 20,000 here, 100,000 here. Like, it doesn't all have to be in one place. Oh, sure. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Across the 50 states or across uh, whatever the the swing the swing states they could have padded those numbers so easily to right. pick up an extra actually she only needed she only needed like three million to win for the popular vote yeah but all all I'm saying is they didn't even try you know I almost feel like and I've been saying this for a while I've been saying this for ever since she got she got announced she to me feels like a burner she feels yeah. like a burner candidate oh, yeah I like agree. she was a throwaway they knew she mm-hmm. wasn't going to win they didn't right. even put the machine behind her right. like the the steely machine you know what i mean yeah um and they almost i almost feel like they wanted to let trump win so that whatever comes mm-hmm. over the next mm-hmm. few months to a year or two whatever happens in this world they're going to blame trump for it yeah I the agree. same the same way Trump was blamed for COVID. Whatever yeah. whatever happened in the world as a result of COVID or in America as a result of COVID, it was Trump's fault. Right. Because he was president. Right. Yeah. So yeah. they've set things up in such a way that he will fail. Right. Right. And think about all the things we have like on the horizon or in the works right now. The Israel Middle East war, mm-hmm. right? Dumpster mm-hmm. fire. Ukraine, Russia. Mm-hmm. dumpster fire mm-hmm. economic collapse that isn't being talked about it's mm-hmm. being it's being whitewashed by mm-hmm. the media did the second trump comes in and they actually start announcing real numbers yeah yeah and yeah, you realize yeah. we're already in a recession and the economy's yeah. already in the dumps they yeah. just haven't told you right they're just changing definitions of words like recession trump will be at fault and the media will just harp on it they'll just say oh my god we're in a recession it's trump's fault Biden economics we're doing great and, and and Trump knows this, right? Like, I mean, so they they they're aware of this. The the right is totally aware of this. It's not like, oh my gosh, like they they handed us some, you know, dumpster fire. Right. No, no, no. They know this. Like, but they of course they don't into. talk about it. But um, right, because they can't really talk about it because then it's like, I mean, now they can. The fact that he had <laughs> well, it's going to be but... interesting, bro. Uh, is he going to pull the bandaid off and show you what's really going on? Like, show the masses what's really going on, or is is he going to do what Trump does? And like anything Trump does is yeah, yeah, yeah. the best. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. best. Nobody yeah, can like, do it just better. Like, just like the And kind of keep going or, or go more in debt or like what, mm. what's, what's the play going to be? Either way, I'm, it, he either has to rip the Band-Aid off and we have to feel some crazy, some pain, mm-hmm. at least economically, for the ability to get a better long term. You know what I mean? Or... Look at what they're freaking doing today. Biden or yesterday, Biden announces that he's going to allow Ukraine to use long range missiles that the U.S. provided in order to strike targets within Russia. 
So right before he freaking gets out of office, mm -hmm. this fool's going to start World War freaking mm -hmm. three because Russia said, if you guys allow this, we're going to start bombing U.S. targets. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's crazy. Yeah. It's going to be, it's, this is going to be insane. And I said this, I said this four years ago. You could ask my buddy. I said the Democrats are going to get so desperate that they'll start World War mm -hmm. III. Mm -hmm. so that they can distract from all their crimes and everything that Trump's about to start exposing them for yeah. once he wins next next election, you know? Because who cares? Hey, who cares about crimes from 2016? Yeah, no. That Hillary lost news. her server, right? It's or news. whatever she Nobody did. Nobody even cares. Who cares about that no. if we're in World War Three? Yeah. You know I mean, no saying? one even cares now. We're not even Nobody in World cares War now. Exactly. Like, you know, like no one's exactly. talking about it. Like, hey, we should probably, you know, figure that out. No. No, it's just, you know why? Because we're so freaking distracted by Very distracted. all the stuff that we see like everywhere on our phones and media and all this stuff and that we're just like, we don't have the capacity to even care. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Sure. And man, it's so sad because this is like the, what I see in, in people's lives, like just in their personal lives and their, in their work lives, like, oh, well. Oh, well, <laughs> like, it's just, no, dude, do something about it, man. Like, don't let this happen. Don't let your, yeah, you know, don't let them win. Don't let the devil win on this, man. Like you can do something about this. Uh, no, I'm not talking about like this, about Hillary. We can't, but, um, yeah. And, and again, like it, it's all blackmail, right? Everyone is like blackmailing each other. Everyone's got, you know, <laughs> for sure. For <laughs> this sure. This whole Diddy thing. Like that's why they had to like bring him down. Cause if not, like it's just all going to hit the fan. And that's going to go away too, you know. Oh, 100%. It's already it's already gone. Yeah, people don't even think gone. about it. Yeah, Jake They're not Paul even talking about it anymore. And Tyson, you know, wash yeah. that. You know, yeah, so what's I, the next wash? You know, I will say like the 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 language from the left right now. Like if you watch any of the left wing news channels, their language, their rhetoric is all oh Trump's going to be a tyrant. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost as if they're like, if Trump comes in and starts clearing house, which listen, he has to you have to he yeah. has to <laughs> right, bro right. if he doesn't come in and start prosecuting arresting firing if he doesn't come in and go hard uh he's part of the plan he's part yeah. of the system he's yeah. part of the system okay so he has to come in and get ruthless um, okay so what, on that hey, note hey, hey, but if he does the rhetoric is already in place. Trump will be a tyrant. Right, right, right. right. He mm -hmm. is a fascist. He is a Nazi. Mm -hmm. He is Hitler, Mussolini, Mao, all combined. Okay? Uh, if he comes in and starts doing what he has to freaking do to clean up, okay, they're going to, they're going to say, look, it's happening. It's right. happening. He's, 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 he's prosecuting people. He's coming after us. He's imprisoning. He's opening cases. This is lawfare. This is, okay? And that's when I think they're going to release their mobs. Mm. That's when people are going to be out in the streets. You know what I mean? Protesting and revolting. Revolution. Mm. What we just mm. described that needs to happen mm -hmm. is what they're going to implement. You know what I mean? So it's almost, what if they, what if this is my theory? And I do believe this is probably why. What if they let him come in knowing he's going to let heads roll, you know? And that's when they're going to release their freaking mobs, bro. Um, who, who think that they're fighting for the, for a just cause, you know, we're stopping tyranny. Yeah, it's very possible. Um, that'd be interesting to see, of course. Um, you know what I thought about with, with this, you know, how uh, I was trying to, this is what made me think about this. Let me just gather my thoughts. So remember this guy, he just appointed someone into like a new general or something, or an old, he brought a general in to appoint him into like secretary of defense or something i don't know it's just badass like the guy from fox he's no, a fox uh contributor no 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 uh not that guy um he's like an older guy he's been already like he's the one that's uh dealing with all this border stuff oh and, yeah yeah yeah. the border yeah, guy yeah, yeah yeah and he's like everyone's like dude this guy's badass yeah. like this guy didn't take care of shit all right do you remember when trump first got elected who that tough guy was Ooh, Bar. was it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we were all like, oh, that guy, he's trying, he's sure. trying. Sure, dude, it's sure. the same freaking thing. Same thing. Yeah. How, that's where my mind went when I saw this guy, because I was like getting hyped about this guy too. I'm like, oh, this guy's, this guy's badass. And then like, 
I'm like, wait a second. This smells just like the exactly. bar thing. Or like when they put in that guy Bolton, John Bolton. Oh, you know? goodness. Yeah. And they, okay. And, and Another they were, great example. And Pompeo. Right. And like I, everybody, while they make these decisions and put these people in, they hype them up as like the solution to all right, the problems. Right, right. right. And then if nothing happens, it's all BS. It's all BS. It's all BS, yeah. bro. And this is why Trump has to go in and actually like, he's got, he's got to get, he's got to get me. Everything they've been doing to him. He has to go after them. He has to do the same freaking thing. Yeah, if I not, just don't think he will, if, man. If it's, I don't think he will either. If he doesn't, and if he doesn't clear this out, it will not stop. It will not stop. Right. He'll, he'll, he'll maybe last his four years, you know, God knows. But then it all happens again. It, we go through it a freaking again. You know what I mean? So he has to, listen, there has to be consequences. All right. All this talk about like, oh, now's the time to unite and now's the time to bring the country together. And no, it's not. <laughs> right. No, now it's freaking it's not. Clean house. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't they do that for the past four years? Why didn't right. that have to happen under Biden? Yeah. Okay. Why wasn't it time to unite then? Why is it time to unite now? Now's not the time to unite. Now's the time for consequences. Mm -hmm. Because if there, yeah, aren't, if there aren't any consequences, why would they stop doing what they're doing? They won't. And they're only getting more bold. They're only right. getting more crazy yeah. in what they're freaking doing because there's no consequences. There's literally no consequences. All they do is like, all they do is say, oh, he lied. Okay, well, what, what are you going to do about it? Oh, nothing. Let me keep lying. And yeah. actually, I'll get crazier with the lies. Sure. The Russia dossier that everybody knows is a lie and for three mm -hmm. years and investigations mm -hmm. and da, 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 da. No consequences. The Hunter no, stuff. Zero consequences. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Hunter stuff, Russia stuff, yeah. COVID stuff does not matter. Bro, COVID stuff. Yeah. How many millions of people are dead as a result of that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Uh, not of the illness, but of the other stuff, the right, stuff right. that was the solution. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No consequences. No consequences. There, there's mm -hmm. no reason for them to stop. Right. They could just get crazier and crazier and crazier. Right. Yeah. So but, if, so but if goes... he doesn't do anything about it, it's over. It's freaking right. over. But okay, so that's him doing something about it. But it's also us on a you know on a on a local level, like to do something about it, right? Because that's the thing. We we keep waiting. Again, we're the savior complex. We're just waiting for someone else to do it. Like, oh, Trump's gonna you know clean house. Great, and he's gonna change everything. No, he's not. Like it has to. It takes all of us. It takes us. It takes these. Uh, seventy six point five million people, you know, who went out to vote for him to say, "Hey, you know, we're 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 not doing this anymore. Like we're not, right. you know." And that's that's what needs to happen. That's the only way you can actually have a revolution, right? And and I'm not calling for revolution, but I'm calling for like, hey, just let let's let's live right and and not live the way we have been. Um, we're calling for spiritual revolution. There you go, brother. There we go. Spiritual revolution. I mean that that is our okay. So. That that brings up another point, like us as, you know, believers of Jesus, right, and followers of him. You know, I know we're living in this world, but like, man, we seem so much more uh, captivated by this world and so much more, for sure, you know, busy by with design, this world. By right? design. Right. By design. The, the spiritual side. Yep. Um, and that's where I think we fail, too, as Christians. You know, I, I see it at... Uh, you know, I go to a really big church and it's like, I look around and it's like, man, I'm not judging. I'm just like, man, like 90% of these people, <laughs> like, I just like so lost, like, you know, sure. and, and they don't even know who Jesus is and, and what he, what he came to do. Um, yeah, it's the crazy world we live in, man. And, um, uh, but it starts with us. Right. And so we just, yeah. we, we just, you know, I, who is it? Rogan that said, like the the conservatives are like the the liberals now, like you know, and how everything is changed up and switched up. Like we, mm. like uh, we're the ones that are like what the liberals used to be back in the day. Like we're the ones that are like, no, we've had enough. Like we've you know, right, we're making right, a change. Right. You know, uh, but how far will that go? That's the question. You know, um, I I mean, I think it's going to go pretty. Dude, from a spiritual perspective, think about it uh, as. As God, let's say that this is God's work in America, like one last mm. hoorah of mm. like righteousness. And I mean, we're seeing it. We're seeing a lot of people come to faith. Sure. 
like yeah. I said, as a result of the insanity over the past six, yeah. seven years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just the evil. Like when you're faced with real evil and it's inexplicably logically, you can't explain why people are doing the evil, nonsensical shit that they're doing. Mm. That's when you're like, something else is behind this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's weird. I wonder what that is. It's got to be spiritual. That's Tucker Carlson's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? What's it called when you come to faith? Testimony. Mm -hmm. That's his yeah. testimony. He saw how evil things were. They didn't make sense. And he came back to his faith. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, that's happening a lot. Yeah. That's happening a lot. It's so but cool to as, see. As that happens, Satan will go harder. Yeah, for sure. He's going he's gonna to step it up because yeah. it's a back and forth. This is war. This is spiritual war. All right. That's what's currently happening. And we're watching the 3D uh, manifestation of that higher dimensional war and battle that's going on. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're watching. I love that you brought that up because the whole spiritual war aspect, and I'm just speaking for myself here, I always thought of it only as like my spiritual war in my own mind and my own, mm. you know, with my own struggles and my own things, right? Like I never looked at spiritual warfare as community thing you know oh, like dude we are individual microcosms of the bigger picture right spiritually speaking yeah think true. about it there's the prince of the power of the air of persia the prince of the power of the air of greece right mm -hmm. we, this these are the ones mentioned in the bible mm -hmm. so geographic territories mm -hmm. have spiritual rulers over them okay those individuals under their authority are spiritually dealing with and battling with the issues that that God or that deity is imposing on those right, territories. Right, right, right. For example, the Muslims are dealing with supernatural battle mm -hmm. that has to do with their God. Their God. They're, not mm -hmm. they're not dealing with the same spiritual battles we deal with. Correct. Yeah. Because the, the entity over our territory, mm -hmm. over America, is the woke crap. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's what he's imposing on this territory. So that's what we're battling against. Yeah. While the Muslims battle against their separate issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. So each territory is going to deal with different spiritual battles. You know what I mean? I think America has more than one God, though. I mean, we have <sighs> a lot of different territories within America. Dude, um, I, think, I think ours is like, I think ours is kind of the, the top dog at the moment. Um, well, yeah, I mean, the Western culture, right, has been like the biggest influence in over the last hundred, you know, few hundred years, like where it's like for implemented sure. in every corner sure. of this world. Like, it, like let's sure. get this Western democracy yeah, mindset yeah, into, yeah. you know, every nation. And then the ones that were opposed to it, like Russia, right, are now the evil, 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 yeah. where the funny thing about Russia is like Orthodox Christianity was like huge there, right? It's like probably right. like the last country that even has that, you know, I know they have like a lot of Muslim uh, stuff within Russia too, but Man, I mean, talk about like a spiritual country, way more spiritual than we are in a sense, you know, like, yeah. uh, and that's where the stronghold is, right? Like, it makes you wonder, like, who's really the bad guy, right? Like, I think hey. we can look at China very easily and say China is definitely, you know, like, like straight out of hell, but <laughs> China, <laughs> but, you know, like when it comes to Putin, I don't know, you know. It's not a good guy either, though. You know what I mean? There's no good guys. There's, there's no, no good, good guys. Yeah. There's no good guys. In, in I, I think what you're trying to say is this is also part of the awakening that's happening. Mm. A lot of people are realizing that America is not the good guy. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Well, who's, who's perpetrated more evil globally than America in the past 50 years? Who's killed more people? Oh yeah, no, no. We've we've done the worst. We've done the most harm in this on this globe. How about our enemies, China, Russia, the Middle East guys? Who's killed more people in the past fifty years? Yeah, it's only us. Yeah, yeah. America. We've killed we've killed tens of millions of people globally. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. Who's Russia killed? <laughs> I mean, Ukraine. That's only in the past yeah. three years, right, or two yeah, years. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, and it's as a result of what America and NATO was doing. Right. It, it wasn't was fine. Un, it wasn't uninstigated. Yeah, right. Who's China killed? Right, right. Besides their own people, but like... Besides, I mean, yeah. a handful, you know, Uyghurs and other yeah, people yeah. that disappear. But we en masse have slaughtered. Bah. Dude, we're talking about millions of people in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Just all over. You know, Vietnam, whatever. All of our wars, we are the ones that are going out yeah. and slaughtering and, and sacrificing. We're sacrificing. Do you realize that? When we go kill people, these are sacrifices. Oof, They're yeah. blood offerings mm, to mm. our 
mm. principality that we just talked Oof, about. It's deep. When we abort, who are we killing towards? Yeah. Who are we sacrificing to? Blood More offering, like, baby. Mm -hmm. Blood offering. It's human sacrifice. We've just rebranded. We've democratized. It. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But he, I don't think that the majority realize it. Like, like even like of Christians, right? Like you see that. Hey, hey we rebranded. Right, right, right. We've right, rebranded. Right. Yeah. It's just different words. It's just, yeah. we, we've we put these constructs around it, like democracy and freedom of choice, right? Mm -hmm. Human sacrifice. The end, the result is the same exact right. thing. You're sacrificing your child for convenience or for prosperity. Right. How's that any different than what the Mayans were doing when they were sacrificing their babies for freaking, uh, hey, for a good harvest? And for right. food, yeah, and for wealth, insane, it's literally the exact same thing. It's the exact it's like, same it's thing. exact same thing. Or sacrificing your people for victory in battle, right? Territory or economic for, mm -hmm. economic growth, territorial mm -hmm. growth. It's the same thing. That's what we do in right. war. It, dude, it's incredible. It's incredible when you realize that everything's spiritual, right? And it's repeated to. We've seen the same things when you read the Old Testament. It's like, oh my gosh, we're doing the same thing. Same exact And then like you thing. have like the, just Israel itself, you know, divided, you know, like Judah and then the rest of it, right? Like, it's just, it's insane. Like I'm reading right now about David and Saul. Saul just died in my readings. And then, uh, you know, and it's like, it's so cool to watch this, but it's like, man, we're some of this stuff is so gnarly though. I'm like, what just happened? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so I oh, the Bible is amazing. I got to go past that chapter. I'm like, okay, I'll come back you, another time. You better not. <laughs> no, I, I read it, but I'm just I like, know. I don't know like the answers to it. And I try to mm. do like look up some commentary on it, but it's really hard to find commentary on Old Testament stuff mm. as much as it is on New Testament. New Testament, you can find a lot of commentary, but no, Old Testament testament stuff and it's like i don't even know who i can trust in the old testament stuff like i really want to go to like more like hebrew scholars and things like that just who know the language i bought yeah. myself this interlinear bible uh, i'm gonna return Another it though. other one yeah i'm gonna return it though because it's way too hard for me to read but i wanted the literal translation and then it gives you the greek and the hebrew so like the old testament like, it's actually really cool and you read it left yeah, to right cool. it's that is cool. that is or right cool. to left um it's 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 very interesting but it's it's a little bit too much for me so i'm gonna return it but uh, I want to find like a literal translation, even if the sentences don't like make as much sense. I want to know what those words are um, because I see that when I dive into a verse, man, like I, I, I'm starting to see like the within the verse, like sometimes like two or three uh, things that like connect to each other within the verse. Dude, it's so cool. Like, especially in the Psalms, like you'll read and it's like kind of broken up into three things. And then the first and the last part of the verse will like kind of agree with each other. And the middle part would be like the result of the, or like the doing part of the other two, man, it's so cool how just one verse, it'll blow yeah. your mind, blow your mind. Just one verse. The greatest book um, ever written, bro. It, it, it really is, man. Like I can't get enough, man. I, I sit there and I, and I read slowly now. Oh my gosh. I, like I was, you know, I used to have all these like Bible reading plans and stuff. Dude, I'm like so behind on all of them. I can't like, I just, I sit and I like read and I like pray through it. I'm like, Man, to think, of, so think about deep. how think about how insane that is, though. Okay, how many books are in the Bible? Sixty-six total. Yeah. Okay, sixty-six book. How many people wrote it? Uh, I think it was forty different authors. I think around so, there. forty or forty-four or something like that, right? Somewhere around there, yeah. Okay, and it's over a span of I think like two thousand years, three thousand years. Uh, I think fifteen no. fifteen hundred to two thousand years. No, because. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, because we yeah, when you start, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, yeah. hey, from Moses, from to, Moses Jesus. to Jesus, yeah. Well, I think uh, it's about Moses 1500 to, to years. John, right? Um, yeah. So, anyway, hey, think yeah, about yeah. that. So, over about 1500 years, 44 different people wrote, like, randomly. Like, they didn't <laughs> know they were writing something that would be compiled <laughs> right. into. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're like, the Lord gave me a word. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. And uh, this is for you people right here that I live right. in front of. Here, yeah, this yeah. is for you. Yeah. And then later it just keeps, it keeps getting added to mm -hmm. this thing that is now called the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that took 1500 years to come. And it confirmed each other as they're writing and it. It's yeah. completely like holistic. Yeah. Like the beginning explains the end and the end explains the beginning. They had no contact with each other. There was no mastermind behind it all that picked and chose what was going to be and what wasn't and this and that, and just kind of compiled this narrative that never happened. Dude, People say that, that happened. There's no evidence of that. Dude, 
And it is the most incredible book in human history, bro. Just as applicable today as any day right. in history. You know how, what I'm saying? How can we not like be enamored by that, right? Like why yeah. why do we not have this like insane fascination to yeah. like totally digest these words? Like to understand like, man, what was happening then? Like, how, how does this apply to me? What, you know, how, what was Jesus like doing here? What was he, you know, man, we, I, I mean, ben, why, why hasn't that happened since? What is it? I, yeah, right. Show me something comparable. Yeah. That's, that's what do point. you got? Nothing, you got freaking, you got close. like, you got the, what's it called? What's the, not even the writings of one author who writes six or seven or eight books or different well, writings. Hold on, like hold even on. Like, you'll bring Hey, people bring up like Islam. What's their, uh, Bible called or their book? In the Quran. Yeah. You'll bring that. Do you know how thick the Quran is? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, it's the size yeah. of our new Testament. It's, it's so very, it's, very thin. Yeah. You know, it's like to... one eighth, the work one eighth, the size of the Bible yeah. or whatever it is. One sixth. And, and that was all by one dude. Right. Right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, we talked about this with the with the um, our Muslim guy. I forget what his name was right now off the top of my head. But uh, Muhammad wrote a tiny part, and then people that came after him wrote the rest. Oh, of really? It. Hmm. But overall, and and his there's his words, and there's people's like there's people's memory about what he said. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So it's broken hmm. up. Uh, but hmm. it's all within, I think the whole thing is within like a 30 year period or something like that. And we've got 1500 years period. So if you want to say like, oh, what would be easier to make like an argument or a holistic narrative? Everybody that lived within one time period of 30 to 40 years or 1500 years, the 1500 year one's probably impossible to get like a right, consistent right, right. narrative from yeah. start to end. Whereas the 40 year oh, or 30 sure. year period, you yeah. could like, you guys could just hang out and talk about it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And be and like, do you agree with what he said? Do you remember this? I could, I, I, right. I, there's no, there's nothing else like it, man. No. And it's, I, I, I think some of my favorite stuff that I'm watching and going through right now are people that defend like the history mm. of the Bible. Cause yeah. that's, the th that's, listen, that's one of the best attacks against Christianity. Right. Your right. Bible's BS. Yeah. It's because it's, painted, then it the stops right there. it's inaccurate. There's yeah. no, the uh, the earliest translations are 300 years later, or whatever manuscripts are 300 years old. None of that's true. Yeah, none of that's true. And 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 this isn't up for debate. Mm -hmm. There's no physical evidence, historic evidence for your claims. These have been debunked over and over and over again. You just don't want to believe it, but it doesn't right. matter because you can't argue with history, right? Those same people believe like. Caesar was real. Benjamin Franklin was real. Mm -hmm, like they mm -hmm. believe other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. historic facts that use the same metrics to come up with right. these, right. these realities, right? Yeah. But they just don't want to believe the the stuff that's been historically factually proven about the Bible. Yeah, oh, and incredible. even when it comes to the copies, right, of the Bible, how many we have, and you know, uh, what is it, Socrates or something? We have like six copies or something, or Plato or whatever. It's like, you know, minuscule compared to what we have. In the Bible. I love it. And I love it's it. Just, it. It's ridiculous, though, like how, like uh, how weak of an argument it is, but yeah. how much damage it causes because people just don't do some research yeah and again it's it, it's the the passiveness that we've what we have you know um listen man i i have a a, a a couple that came to me and their marriage is about to end like it's they're right at mm. the end of it right and it's like hey man listen listen to me like there's things that you need to do will you do them no uh, two over. kids you know, like they're, it's they're, over. it's over. And it's like, okay. It's the, do you want to be healed question? It's the, do you want to be healed question? Right. And that, that goes to like everything that we think and we educate ourselves with, right? Do you want to actually know the truth? How many times do I talk about, you know, like these kinds of things, like with people and they're like, yeah, whatever. Okay. It's cool. There's whatever. It's just conspiracy stuff or you're, or yeah, it's just too much. I don't understand it. So I'm just going to not going to pay attention to it. Right. Like, wait, what? Like, but then when you're faced with a problem and you're like, how can you actually trust the Bible? Right. Yeah. Like, and then you're like, well, then what's your anchor? What, what do you have, man? Yeah. If you can't go to the word of God and be like, in, in your word, I trust in your word, I praise like, how, that's what David says in your word. I praise like, man, it's so beautiful. But like, 
to 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 wait confidently and, and expect the Lord. Like all these things, like that it says, those who who uh, uh, will God will give perfect peace to those who uh, whose thoughts who, who trust in Him and whose thoughts are fixed on Him. How can you say that line in Isaiah if you don't even trust the Bible? Like, there's no power in that then. There's no power in, in, in God's word if you don't even believe that it could be true. Like, oh, well, it's an old book. I don't know. See, this is where I think, like, uh, we there's a lot of knowledge that comes into Christianity, too. Like, it's, it's not like a full, like this, yes, we put our faith in Jesus, but there's a lot of history. There's a lot of knowledge. There's a lot of things that we can turn back to and be like, oh, yeah. This, this happened. This actually happened. It's like yeah. Jesus, when he came with his message, he actually healed people too. You know, it was signs and wonders along with his message so that people would believe his message. Because if sure. he didn't do the signs and wonders, For nobody sure. would have believed them. Same thing with the Holy Spirit afterwards, with speaking in tongues totally. and the healings. And they would do those things, then people would get saved. Yeah. So like, and then, so you never see any of that now, besides on, you know, the, the, the demon slayers and all the people like Whoa. on YouTube and stuff, you know, <laughs> right? It's just crazy. Um, but you don't really see that like happening in church. Like we just were, you know, we're, we're living this like really bland. I, I don't even know if I can say like Christian life. Like I don't even know anymore because I, I see the lives that like what I'm reading of in the Bible and not just the Bible, but even like the early church fathers and like people have written these books. Like I just read a book that was written in like 1600 on prayer and i'm like oh i'm fascinated by this book and it was short and it was it was to the point it was beautiful and i'm like man this is so good for us to know and to learn and to and it's so bible it's every word of it's like bible and it's like we have all these resources all this stuff and we just don't even try we don't even care enough right that to I'm me is like do, are we even christian like do we even care? But i'm busy i'm busy yeah, we're, 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 I'm because just, all the stuff you're reading was written by people that were monks. They lived. No, not all, man. Not inside all. like monasteries. Listen, they didn't go man, to work eight hours a day. Listen, pick up a book by Dallas Willard, who was, who's a contemporary theologian. He just died, I think, maybe like six, seven years ago. Yeah, he what's was he a, do? What he was he do a, for a, a professor at USC. Yeah. Literally, all he did was study and write books. Okay, but he, but he had life. He had a marriage. He had, he had kids. He know, had, he lived in Southern get, California. If eight hours of expensive. your day. Your work time is spent reading and writing books. Right, but you're that's not come an excuse, cool though. Stuff. Okay, well, let me ask you this then. If let me ask you this though, do you really believe that if you were to seek the kingdom first and His righteousness, that all these other things would be added to you, Ben? Yeah. 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 <laughs> do we really believe that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, hey, bro, what? bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can faster and faster. Good, that was good. That was good. What's the evidence of you believing in it? Uh, what's the evidence I believe in it? That I didn't wash my hair for four months? That's one. Okay. That's good. Nice. That's good evidence. I like nice. that. Uh, I don't know. That's a good verse, though. I agree. It It is real. That's the one that anytime. Somebody's like, yeah, but I got to take care of retirement and I need to pay bills. Mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's, That's the freaking the one. one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the one that comes up. Because if we did seek these things, Great they point. would be, they would be, prom it's promised. We would be taken care of. You know what I so mean? So what are we worried about? Like, what are we scared of, man? It's, it's the, it's the system. Dude. It's the system. It's ingrained in us. Do you okay. realize? Okay, that's it's like the, it, telling it's the lack of faith, Ben. That's what it is, um, Ben. It's the lack of faith. You know, listen, the system, the system is is, sure. is is a play in all of this. For sure it is. That's the devil's part, right? But it's up to us to make that decision, right? It's up to us to eat the fruit or not. It's up to us to to make For these sure. decisions. So the, the, we can blame the system. And yes, it's difficult, but it's but, a but daily it's it, it's, it's complete upending of what we know and what we're used to okay. and what we've been taught and, and what we've existed in. And we don't in, do it we... though because we don't have faith. And we don't have faith because we don't know who God is. And we don't know who yeah. God is because we're not reading his word and we're not spending yeah. time with him. Listen, we can't, we cannot know God. Listen, you know, when he says, you know, get depart from me for I did not know you. The knowing that the, the, the word knowing in there is, uh, is a two way thing. 
it's not that he just didn't know us because he knows everything, right? It's that there was no knowing relationship. It's 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 like when a husband and wife come together, they 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 know of each other, but then when they are completely exposed to each other and start to do life to each other, that's when they start to really know each other. And it takes time, and they become they become one. And it's it, it's 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 practice. It's every day waking up. Listen, if you didn't wake up next to your wife every day. You wouldn't have a relationship with her, right? You wouldn't know her, right? So there's things you do. You wake up with her every day. You have you 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 talk to her every day. You plan things with her every day. You you make decisions with her all the time. You eat together. You pray together. You sleep together. You do fun stuff together. That's what it means to know your wife. That's what Jesus wants with us. He wants us to know Him to a degree that, like, just like a relationship with with our spouse or or children and, and things. Um, listen, my daughter's far away from me. I don't know her like her mom knows her. Right. And it sucks. And it's like, man, I really want to have that knowing relationship. And um, and I and I want that with God. Now I, I have to like confess or I repent of this 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 morning in my prayer. I'm like, God, forgive me for not wanting you more than being married again than being with my daughter all the time, than being with my family all the time. Like I long for these things more than I long for him. Shame on me, dude. Like, and not just shame on me, but like, not just to, to sit in that guilt, but it's like, okay, well, what, how does that, how do I change that? What do I do in my life to change that? And this is where I think these questions come in like, okay, what can I do daily to live differently and forget about the world, forget about the system, forget about this stuff. I know we have to live in it and God will help us with that. He'll, he'll figure that out for us. We don't have to do that. He just says, just, just pay attention to me. Just be with me instead of, you know, yeah. the time that we spend with everything else. And if you can't, because, you know, you're in it in that moment or in that season, there's glue there, there, there's times within the day. There's little fillers within the day, whether it's instead of spending four hours, four, three, four hours with him in the morning, if you can't, then every part of your day in every in, in every break in every um drive in every meal in every whatever it is is fill him fill fill your time in your mind with him fill and if you do that i promise you man he will extend your time he will do things for you he'll make things work out so that he can spend more time with you he doesn't want you he won't just keep adding to your life to get busier he'll actually start taking away mm -hmm. from your life so you can spend more time with him because ultimately, that's what he wants. Ultimately, he doesn't want you to have a million dollars in the bank. He doesn't care about that. Could be nice. For for what? You see, that's the thing. It, security. In what? Because our security is in him. If we don't have, if, we, if we're not having peace, if we don't have peace, if we don't have joy, like true joy, if we don't have security in him, like what's the point of having a million dollars in the bank? Or ten million dollars in the yeah, bank. Yeah, for sure. It, it's that's the, that's the way that we have to think. It's like, like it's not about having that. Listen, and even again, if 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 our focus is on him, he will never let us go hungry. He will never let us suffer like that. He will take care of us. And even if we don't eat for a day, guess what? We're not dying. He will take care of us. He will sustain us through his word supernaturally. He will do things that that. How did Paul shipwreck, right? How did they live like that? How did, they, how were they at sea for that long and then die, right? They were supernaturally sustained, right? Jesus was, how do you go 40 days without drink or, or food, dude, and not die? I don't think I could do that. But if you're spiritually sustained, you can. So why don't we access that spiritual side of, of this, of this, of this life that he's given us? That, um, you know, what does it say? To, uh, um, Eternal life is, is this, to know, this is what he says, eternal life is this, to know God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. That's what eternal life is, to know God, knowing, right, that, that back and forth, that communication, that oneness, that communion with God, to know God is eternal life. We don't have to wait. We can do it now. We can know him now. Let's start knowing him now. And if you don't want to, it's because you don't love the Lord. Let's just be honest, man. If you don't want to, it's because you have forgotten your first love. It's the same letter that he wrote to, to the Ephesians, right? Um, in, in, in Revelation, right? You, you lost your first love. You don't. And, and, and if you look back at the Ephesians, they were doing everything great. I think it's Acts 22 or so. It's like, no, it can't be 23. Acts like 18 or something. And it talks about like the Ephesians, the church in Ephesians. They were doing great. They were like 
awesome. And then Jesus says, you lost your first love. What? Right? Like this goes back to like, what does it, what, what does he really want from us, Ben? He doesn't care about our comfort. He cares about our character. I don't know, man, Ben, this whole, this whole world, what I'm learning, I'm doing, um, learning a lot about like, um, a kingdom living, like what it means to live in, in the kingdom. Like what, what was the gospel of Jesus? Like, what did Jesus, what was the good news that Jesus came with? Came with a kingdom. He said, yeah. repent and, and believe in me. And the, king, the kingdom of God is at hand, like it's here. Um, and we don't live like that, Ben. We don't live like that. Yeah. We live in the kingdom of this world. Oh, and, for sure. The matrix. And it sucks. The matrix. And it sucks. Yeah. And it's, but we have the option though. See, here's the thing, Ben. We have the option to live differently. And I believe that if we really, really lived differently in every aspect of our life, and it's not all at once, of course, it, it's something that you morph into, you, you're being formed uh, into this. But I do believe that that's everything. Like that's, if even if your family lived in the kingdom, like you would, you would have so much peace in your, in your, in your, in your family and relationships. I think your work would be different. I'm telling you, man, because you, you go through things you, differently. The attacks will still come, of course, but yeah. you, you go through things differently, dude. I feel like you'll be poor though. Okay. And <laughs> so, um, and then somebody's going to give us $20 million to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll give it to our family. And then we'll give it to our family. But listen, what does it mean to be poor? Like poor in what? Poor in, in, in money gonna, in, this, in, the, in the kingdom, right? Wear, poor in we're the gonna kingdom have to wear commodity. camel clothes and eat locusts and honey in the wilderness. Bro. And he was... But... He was like the greatest of the all The greatest. Men. John yeah. the Baptist. Yeah. And still least in the kingdom, dude. Like, bro, that's what's crazy about that uh, statement. Like, do we, we don't even understand what's ahead of us and what's, and he was least because he was still, he was human, right? That's why, right, you right, know, right, right. but Ben, I'm really, really learning this. And I'm not just saying I'm learning it because I'm reading it, but I'm actually living this out. And I'm, I'm seeing the, the changes in my life that are happening through this kingdom living mentality where it's like, yeah. Hey, well, that's not how you were supposed to look at this situation. So when I do like care and stuff, when I'm talking to people, it's like, wait a second, how, how does God want us to look at this? What does the Bible have to say about this situation? And you can find it. Every answer you, you need is in the Bible. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. I like, believe that. It's all, it's all there. Um, and we just don't, man, we, we suck, dude. We, we, you know, we get so caught up into this life and it's and the matrix, bro. The patterns it's the of this world, right? Hey, it's the concerns and what's it called of this world? Concerns and care of this world, something like that, mm -hmm. right? The worries and that, that mm -hmm. worries and concerns of this world. Uh, worries I think and that, cares, I think, but yeah. We're so bad. At Sorry, this. we're so bad. <laughs> I at said this. The we're easy. I'm yeah. wrong. <laughs> I, I guarantee you're wrong. And we could pull it up or forget no, it. Let's just go. Let's just lazy. go with it. You're good. You're good. Yeah, uh, put in the comments, guys. What is put it? Put in what the comments. <laughs> what well, it's supposed to be? Hey, so uh, yeah, finish yeah, that thought, dude. It's the it's the freaking matrix. Like this thing is by design to keep us separated from from the kingdom and from from God. One hundred percent. You know what I mean. But we um, live in it, but we want it though. We, we, we go with it. Do you understand, Ben? We have, we have the answer, but we don't do it. Yeah, but it's a, we have the answer, but it's like interpreted through the system that we're a part of. You know what I mean? So we adapt the Bible and those answers that you're talking about. We adapt them to our existing system. We don't necessarily want it to be revolutionary and completely undead, un upend what we're a part of and like completely change our lives because we don't know what that looks like. You know what I mean? So we don't want to because we, we're scared of what it looks like or we don't want to because we don't believe that that's the right uh, thing to do? Either scared or we don't even realize that like the Christian system that we've been sold all these years in church is not what it's actually like calling for it's calling for complete like revolution against this matrix against do you this believe system. that i do think that i Complete. believe that 100 percent, ben yeah 
And yeah, I believe but I'm that. scared. I know it is scary, dude. That's Bro, right. I can't it, even wake up and not look at my phone. Well, <laughs> right. But okay, so I, I know say, I will say. Mm -hmm. I guess not washing my hair for four months is hey, a step in go. the right there direction. You there you go. Next that's up, the, that's upending the system. It is. It is. You don't need something that they told you that they need, that you need it. There you go. See little baby steps, man. Baby steps. Um, baby beach. Baby steps. Baby beach. Baby steps. <laughs> so we. Um, okay. So we both believe that now. Okay. Now this is coming from a a, a, a man who has. Very little responsibility in his life right now. So I, I don't have, you know, right. I, I know. And I, and I'm so clear on this. I get it. Every time I talk to somebody about this, they're like, yeah, but your life is different than mine. And I'm like, I get it. I know. I, it's just different. And yeah, in some ways like I don't want it to be different. You're but an experiment. <laughs> you know what I mean? A total guinea pig. Um, but I, but I'm, but I'm learning it and I'm, it's changing the way I'm looking at what I'm allowing into my life though. You yeah. know, like, yeah, 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 yeah because yeah. my life is pretty simple. And again, on, 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 from the, from the world's point of view, my life looks like shit. Right. But from the kingdom's point of view, from the biblical, biblical view, like it's looking progressively more and more sanctified, right? Like it's, mm. it's in er, er, different, there's areas of my life that just, man, I just don't even I don't lose one ounce of sleep anymore. Like yeah. I, when I used to like crazy, I, there's things that have really, really changed in my life. Is everything? No, man. You still got a lot of work to do, but, but I see it, Ben. I see that there's a, there's a difference. There's a way we can live, um, that is different and we can start applying it to ourselves first. And then what I think is what happens is people around us start to notice it. And then they're just like, I want that too. You know, one of my buddies, he, uh, Johnny, who we interviewed on it, oh, he, yeah. he's like, he sees me, it was a few weeks ago or a month ago or something. He's like, man, like you have, you, you just have so much peace about you, Dennis. Like, I want that peace. Like yeah. every time you're just around and I'm like, man, I think it's just my simple life. Hairs you know? and worries of this world. Uh, so I was right. I said worries and cares. Yeah, but you said the opposite. <laughs> hey, hey, cause, cause, hey, once you get so much on your plate. Mm -hmm. it's the worries about those things yeah. that yeah. will make you like lose track or focus. You know what so, I mean? So it's putting a pra making a practice of not putting all those things on your plate, right? Like, like think, thinking ahead and saying, do I really need that? Do I really want that? Do I want to put that stress on my life? Like <clears throat> I believe though, that there are things that God does bring and allow into our life. For sure. And those I think are just like, you know, I was praying the other day. I was like, God, I was thinking I was, I'm doing these, uh, uh, you might roll your eyes. I might Cam might roll his eyes at this, but contemplative prayer, where you're just sitting in silence with the Lord, and you're focusing on, on Him. You're not emptying yourself out like like you know these Eastern religions or whatever. You know Eastern religion. So it's so it's Christianity. But you know what I mean. Um, the the uh, just sit, have you tried this? Where you just sit of in silence. Of course I haven't. Oh, I freaking read the TPT. <laughs> no, it's not. Dude, I haven't been reading the TPT. It's been, it's been a long time. But <laughs> every once in a while, I'll go to it just to see what it says. Of course. <laughs> Only when I'm reading like Psalms. And that's where, um, it's, that's where the word contemplative prayer comes in, right? I don't it's think so. It's in the no, TPT. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, there's a, and there's then it, Jesus oh. did a contemplative prayer in his <laughs> prayer closet. <laughs> well, what did Jesus pray about? Like, what did he do when he prayed? Like he prayed a lot. He went alone and did what? In solitude and did what? What do you think Jesus did when he prayed? How do uh, you think Jesus prayed? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> Sugar, stop. What do you mean, what did he do? What he did prayed. he, what? Okay, but how? Like us? Like, do you think that he prayed like, oh God, like I, I just am so stressed out right now. Like, oh God, can you just like make these people believe? Or oh God, can you just, like, what do you think his, his posture was like when he went to the Father? Uh... Probably more like talking to his father. Like, okay, I like that. So, like, just raw, natural, yeah. real, right? Um, do you believe, though, that he went with faith to his father? Okay, hold on. Let me think about this. Did he go with faith? Yeah, did he have faith when he talked to his, to his Abba father about whatever he talked to him about? He couldn't not have faith, of course. Right. So wouldn't that change the way you pray? Uh, 
I feel like Jesus wasn't asking God for things. He was just like talking out loud to God. Like I he was agree. just I, I agree. sharing his thoughts with So now think about that. For 40 days and 40 nights, he's in the wilderness doing that. What does that look like? Hungry. <laughs> Dude, I... I can't believe how weak I am. Like I, um, you know, I fast weekly and it's like, I can't, dude, like, I suck, you know, like t one day, fine. Two days, I'm like dying, you know, three days. I get, it's, it's, it gets a little better actually after three days. It's kind of weird. Um, but I haven't went longer than that. But man, it's weird, man. Like I'm like, how did you do 40 days? Jesus, how did you do 40 days and 40 nights? And we can't say because he was God. Right. That doesn't count. How did he do 40 days and 40 nights? And yet we can't, we can't get out of bed without looking at our phone. Hey, I'm sorry, man. But don't I would, call I, me out. I, don't call me out. I, I was the same way, dude. I was the same exact way. And it's like, I had to practice really hard. I had to train myself to not do it. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> it's so perfect. Um, no, I love you, Ben. You know, I'm, 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 I'm telling you this because you're my brother, and I, and I want more out of you because I know you have it in you. You're, you're disciplined in other ways, and you can be disciplined in just like, hey, I'm just not going to do this. I'm not going to fill my head with garbage right now. I'll fill it later. <laughs> but it's funny. I. It doesn't matter, man. Like I'm telling you, it'll. Just do that for a week, man. I promise you, you're going to come back on here, and you'll okay. be like, hey, you're going to be like, Miss, you were right, Miss. You were yeah. right. We don't need uh, it. I know, bro. I know, that's baby I know, steps. I know, I know, I know, I know. Baby steps, man. And then we do yeah, the next but, thing. But it's hard. Bro, think about it. It's so smart. Okay. I appreciate the evil genius <laughs> behind <laughs> these systems, you know what I mean? And these tactics. When I watch, when I see stuff, even like political or anything like that, I'm just like, oh, that's good. Good move. Yeah. Good yeah, move. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sure, I've done that I'm sometimes, mad because yeah. now I have to pay more taxes or like I have to deal with woke crap or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? But at the same time, I'm like, oh, smart. Yeah. Game, you know? game, game respects game. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so even, even from like a big picture point of view, how smart to get people indebted from the second they're like, they're alive. Like you get born, you get stuck with the ten thousand dollar bill while Dude. your parents do. Crazy. You know what I mean? Crazy. Uh you wanna eat, go to work. You wanna have a house, go to work. You wanna freaking go to school, get in debt. You want anything, 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 anything you want, debt, 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 debt. That's the system in America. You know what I'm saying? And in order to pay debt, you have to work, 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 work. You know? Uh, and the only time you have left by design, the only time you have left is what like eight hours a day not even because you're working not you're working really. nine right you're at work like nine hours yeah uh you're commuting to and fro commuting, let's say yeah. another hour so that's 10 mm -hmm. so there's 14 hours left in the day let's say you sleep eight mm -hmm. right so you have six hours left in the day where like maybe you could read the bible pray spend time with your kids whatever whatever it takes you know what i mean but the majority of your time your free time is spent working out of the day it has yeah. to just to exist in this system and dennis and then you have to not only pay your existing bills you're also worried about saving investing the future retirement taking care of your wife your kids like it's crazy how freaking distracted we have to be um or we are by design you know what i mean it's crazy and, it's, and i think it's completely exactly... intentional it's completely intentional totally totally yeah so what do we do about it do we just throw up our hands and be like oh well yeah but if you have we're kids, here you are worried about handing them something right for in in the future if you have a wife you're worried about retirement <laughs> dude i was in but that's not for us was... to worry you see this uh, that's that's the problem but, but it's it, not for but us it to is worry when we're a part of the system because I was in, I took care of like old folks. We had old yeah. folks' homes, right? Yeah, yeah. The only people that could like afford our homes were people that did everything I just described. Right, right, And right, planned. Right, right. And the husbands were usually dead because the guys would always die sooner. But it was their wives that would be in our places. Right, Because right. their husbands took care of their shit 
and were able to provide for their wives later on in life from freaking 70 to 90 or whatever. You know what I mean? And then the people that didn't do that or couldn't afford it, they're just in like bed bug city at the freaking hospital, yeah. you know? So yeah, it's like, so sad. well, I don't want that for my life. Like I want to do what the smart guys did, you know? Um, and again, by design, cause listen, bro, listen, if every single person has to do everything I just described, that, 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 that school work, 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 you know, I'm going to, I'm going to move out of my parents. Or I did move out of my parents' house, get a mortgage, have to pay bills. Uh, my kids are going to do the same thing. Their kids are going to do the same thing. Other countries that don't necessarily operate in this system they'll live with their parents and their grandparents and they'll mm -hmm. all stay in one house. There aren't mortgages to be paid by every single individual right. within that home. So they alleviate that burden by just all staying in one place. Then you don't have to worry about retirement and who's going to take care of your wife and your grandparents or, mm -hmm. or your parents mm -hmm. because it's family. you're going to do it and your kids are going to do it and everybody within that household is going to freaking do it. You see what I'm saying? We're like, we're the only ones that the West is kind of the only one with our system, our matrix mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that, that imposes this level of enslavement, you right. know? Um, and listen again, evil genius. It's by design because we were a Christian nation. Mm -hmm. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So what a better way to undo that. And look where we're at now. Women aren't having kids because they're going into work because yeah. mm -hmm. they want a career mm -hmm. and feminism mm -hmm. and independence, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And when you're 18, get out of the house because you're an right. adult. Get a credit card. You should be, get a card, get student debt, mm -hmm. go get a job, get out of my house. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? These are things that have been imposed on us, uh, which just break apart the family unit. Right. Uh, and then people get like mad. People get upset and bitter. And now we're seeing this result in like, People calling for communism because right. the system doesn't yeah. work. <clears throat> right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's dude, evil genius. Totally, man. So because we know we can live a different way, like what are we doing about it? Like what are we, especially in our families? And listen, I'm not saying that you know this podcast is going to change the world, but um, <laughs> but, but we what? are <laughs> one one subscriber at a time, one non-existing member at a time. <laughs> subscriber a year at a time you note know, to self hey, we're just put, leaving the 99 man that's all Ooh. don't put creatine in your coffee it's not good oh, oh, oh. i uh i have the creatine pills that i'll take okay i don't put it i don't like the powder although i, I have this other powder but i haven't used it no. i just learned i don't like the powder in my coffee yeah a lot of people oh. do that though yeah yeah it's a big deal okay so um, what do we do yeah, like it, for like, what can you and you don't have to answer this, of course, right now, but like you and Rebecca do, like, what can because it starts from you yourself, Ben, yep. and then your wife, and then your immediate family, and then and friends, right? People who are in your circle, <sighs> in, your, in your life, uh, and, and listen, they 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 catch it or they don't, they see it or they don't. It's not you know you don't force this on anybody. It's just hey, but I'm I'm seeing it, man. I'm seeing it here in my life. Where the simplicity that I have, other there's other there's other men in my life, um, and they're like, man, uh, like I see I see that simplicity. I I want that. Like you, um, I do have more time than the average person, right? Uh, but I also have uh, people in my life that are kind of like me. They're like they're younger. They're not married. They don't have kids. And man, are they, they're so stressed out. They're just like they're mm. all over the place, you know. And mm. it's leading to them, you know, falling into you know, habitual sin and all kinds of things because they're just, you know, they're frustrated and they're, they're then they get lonely. I mean, dude, the, the devil just has this way with them and it's, it's crazy, For sure. but it's this, you know, and again, I, I'm not, I, I still deal with things. The devil has, you know, his ways of getting to me, man. And, um, of course, and I, you know, I still have to cry out to God all the time about the things that I'm, you know, dealing with, but, but Ben, man, so much has changed. Like I just. Oh, for sure. I, I watched that episode that we did a year ago mm -hmm. just to like catch up on what yeah. we were going to talk about today. Yeah. And even stuff you were saying, I'm like, 
He doesn't even think of that way anymore. You know what I mean? That's so cool that you see just that, from like, man. Just from a year ago. Dude, go back and watch some of our like episodes from before. I should. And just hear the dumb shit that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. Oh, man. I, I, do you know which episode that was exactly? Because I'll start with I, that. I do, but literally go back and watch any okay. of the old ones, you know? Yeah, um, I should do that. Okay. That's hey, the thing I'm... I, I think... I think... I... We all know what we should do. It's just so hard to do it. Because once you're a, once you're in, once you're in the matrix, once you're in the system, there's no, there's no middle ground. You can't just like, oh, I'm going to spend more time with Jesus. It's like, yeah, but your, your hours are already accounted for. Like somebody well, owns your time. You have a 30 year mortgage. Somebody owns your ass for the next 30 years, eight hours a day. That has to happen so that you don't lose your house you know what i'm saying okay. so so it's like there's no middle ground in the sense of you either have that debt so that you could be part of the system or you don't have that debt and okay. then you're freed from the system to some degree but then you're not freed of the worries of the future you see what i'm saying but again that's up to us right so to take that on or not um i can I can be really stressed out right now. I have legitimate cause to be really stressed out in my life right now with my work situation. For like, sure. Really stressed out. The old Dennis would have been freaking out. Um, I mean, to be honest, old as Dennis probably would have done everything in his power to not even be in this situation right, right oh, now. Oh, for sure, for sure. But it would it would have come with uh, sacrificing my time with the Lord. It would have come with sacrificing serving him right, and his right, people. Right, right, it right, would right. come with even myself sacrificing my own thoughts and um oh man um so yes i agree with you and we're already kind of enslaved and so like well how do we live in this slaved system right enslaved system yeah and that's where i think uh daily uh spiritual disciplines and practices really really help us walk through and navigate what we have right now and then slowly I think we'll find opportunities to simplify our life in different ways um, and not add on more. You know, I, when, when, when I talk to people about spiritual disciplines, it's not really adding to your life right now. It's actually looking at your life and seeing what you can take away first, what you don't really need. Right. Um, what are the basics? What are the fundamental stuff? Um, you know, work, of course, you know, paying your bills, things like that. Um, spending time with your wife, with your kids, with, you know, um, but there's... There's a lot of fluff, right? You yeah. know, how many times can we just sit and watch and scroll for an hour and a half? Oh, often. Right. And then say, and listen, I, I'm talking to myself here too. And then be like, oh, I didn't have time to read today. Like we're, right. this, it, we're just lying to ourselves, you know? So yes, you're, you're right in a lot of what you're saying as far as being already enslaved. But in this, there's a lot of fluff. And we can already right. start to, now the question is, you said something, you're like, it's so hard. You said this. And here's what I'm learning, Ben. It's not difficult. It's actually not difficult at all. But it's the motivation that that's wrong. The 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 what should be motivating us to make these changes in our lives um, is the love of God for us, right? It, it has to go back to the gospel of Jesus. Like um anything that we put our hope in that's other than Jesus, then it's just it is 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 wrong. Now I can say that very easily and we can all agree with it. And like, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's great. My hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ, blood and righteousness, right? That song. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, and then, but we put our hope in, in work, in people, in the, the market, right. And all kinds of things, uh, our education, our experiences, but, um, politics, politics. Yeah. Um, so we, we're, we're, it's misplaced hope. It's misplaced focus that is the catalyst. And if we remember uh, creation, remember what God intended, what he intends now for us, uh, when we remember the four things that Jesus left us with is love God, love your neighbors, and I'm paraphrasing here, seek his kingdom and his righteousness. Four things, right, that Jesus pretty much left for us. And then he said, follow me. And if we if we just do those four things, just those four things, simple things, it'll radically change our life. Um, 
and it starts with us just one day at a time. Today is going to look a little bit different. Tomorrow is going to look a little different. The next day is a little different. And then you look back and you say, whoa, like I re there's some real change that happened. There's a real renewing of my mind that happened um, over these la this last week. And it's week to week. And you can see the progress. You can see the results. I see it, Ben. I see it in people that actually implement practices in their life. Um, like like rest and Sabbath and fasting and being really disciplined with with uh, reading um, and meditating on God's word, praying through God's word, memorizing God's word, sitting in in, in silence with God, uh, being in idea. solitude. Yes. Take everything you just said. Put together a monthly calendar. Mm, I like that. <laughs> with verses to memorize for that day. You know what I mean? Just one verse, like mm. 30 words or whatever. Yeah, it's 20 yeah. words. Each day, a memory verse, time throughout the day that's broken down by like 15 minutes of prayer here, 10 minutes of singing here, 30 minutes of reading here, like a daily calendar. We should put that out as a PDF. Yeah, we can. Yeah. So I already have written out spiritual disciplines um, and then also restraints. So there's a lot of things that I'm also like weeding out of my life, right? Like I yeah, won't allow myself yeah, yeah, to yeah, do yeah. this. I won't allow myself to do that. I won't put myself in that situation. Yeah, um, but you know how you know how like people on the internet always sell their PDFs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come in here. We could and sell our PDF. PDF. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could totally do that if you're down for it. I, I could put it together. I think that's genius. Um, now here's here's the thing though. We gotta you know the caveat to all this is like, hey, everyone is different, right? Everyone's life is different. You know, this is these are ideas. Like right, every time I send out my spiritual discipline list that I have, because people have asked me for it, especially my men's group that's where it started they're like can you like just send me what you do because i don't even know what to do and so i sent it to them you know and then they're like wow i can take you know three or four of these things and actually yeah. implement it you know other people can implement more um but these are all again biblical spiritual disciplines yeah, yeah, yeah. you could adapt you know? it to your like day to your personalized sure, sure. talent like so day. This, is, this is what i do when i care when i do care when i'm actually walking with somebody when you do care through what uh service Mind time. What's mind time? Mindtime.com. Mind time. Sponsored .com. by Mind Time. M I I N D T I I M E. Wow. The double, double I. I, double I. I. <laughs> the double I. That's <laughs> not the N I or the triple oh, I. Or there whatever. you go. There you go. Nice. Mindtime.com. If you want more of this, go there. Thank you, Ben, for that plug. I love that. Um, plug. But yeah, anyway, I do that. I do that with Kara. It's like, okay, what are we going to practically do? What are we yeah. going to practice? Let's stop talking about, oh, you know, I can't stand when someone like, when I send like a text message to somebody and they're like, well, oh, God, help me do that. You know, I'm <laughs> just like, look, bro. Yeah. They're like, bro, he is he, helping you. He's telling you to do yeah, this. Yeah, he's telling you, know? you to do it. Yeah. And just do it. And then, and you'll see the change. You'll see the difference, right? Yeah. Um, oh, it's so many of us that do that. It's crazy. It drives me nuts. Um, but anyway, Ben, this whole thing, just to say that, yes, my friend, just do not look at your phone for oh, the, is that the, how this started this all started because I care about oh. you and I, and, um, yes, just because I want your head to be clean. Is this what a mind time session would look like? Yes. Um, <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot more guilt though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I'm no, I don't. <laughs> no, but it's uh, no a lot more love actually. I don't love you as I, I I don't have to show you as much as love because I because you know how much I love you. I, there, I you. feel your love in other ways. You, you know, hey, yes. I do think I will say I am optimistic mm -hmm. because I think in the past four to maybe eight years, so Trump, COVID, and now. Uh, next four years of Trump. I do think that over the past eight years, no, six years, people have seen cracks mm. in the code. Mm. Yeah. And, a, and a lot of people are realizing that the system and the matrix they're in is is total BS. Yeah. Total BS. Totally it, leads, it literally leads to our death and our poisoning, like we were just talking about, and our enslavement and just just absolute destruction, right? I think people are seeing that. And they're seeing that it's mm -hmm. all it's all based on lies. It's all lies. It's all deception. Uh, mm -hmm. It's all deception. It's all lies. You can't trust your doctor. You can't trust your dentist. You can't trust shampoo. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> there, there's nothing. You can't trust politician. Nobody, nobody, nobody. It's all freaking lies. And I think a lot, a lot, a lot of people have been realizing that and are waking up to that. And that will inevitably lead to other questions, doubts, thoughts. and 
dude, even even something as simple as like removing poison from your foods, right? Mm. Or wanting to like homestead or wanting to leave the city or things like that, right? Um, which were obscure before, like only weirdos did that, you know? But now it's becoming more mainstream. And I feel like that will that will also lead to questions about like spirituality. Right. You know what I mean? What is this all about? Totally. Uh yeah. how is I'm seeing this side or these people do some really, really heinous and for lack of a better word, just straight evil shit. Mm -hmm. They're just doing evil. So if they're doing evil, what's making them do that evil? Is there a good like these questions mm -hmm. I think people are starting to to have in their minds based on what they're seeing happening in the world. And I think it's a good time to take people like that and be like, that's what we've been mm -hmm. saying. And here's the solution. And it's Jesus right. and it's the Bible. All this stuff is true. It, we've been saying it for 2000 years, 3000 years. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, so I we, think it's, it's a good time. It's a good time where people are waking up to, to point them in this yeah. direction. And, and obviously I still can't wake up without looking at my phone first, you know, so I'm not like a great example of it, but I recognize my little flaw, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah, but you're also living differently though. And you've made moves like major moves in your life to, to get out of that matrix, you know, like in, in some ways, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and, and again, this is a process, right? Like <clears throat> this is a this is a process. It's not going to be something overnight, but I think you are, you've been, you've been, your mind has been out of that for a long time already. Mentally you're just still trying to, sure. yeah, you're just trying to navigate through all of it. Right. And trying yeah. to figure out how to not get screwed by all this. Right. And to actually trying provide. To play the game. Trying to yeah. Play you're the trying game to, yeah. 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 And listen, that's why, the game. that's why I think Jesus was, you know, like, Hey, you have to be wise, but sh like shrewd, but and gentle too. Like shrewd you know, as vipers, innocent as doves. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. So like, why would he have to say that? Because he's like, you're still navigating this world. Like right, you gotta right, get right, through right. this, right? Bro, I've, I've been thinking about this lately be, because um, about what you're describing about how to navigate within the system. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about this because I keep hearing these accusations online from like Billy Carson and these other dorks. Mm -hmm. Hey, talking about how like, oh, the Bible condones slavery. Okay. And, yeah. um, and it shouldn't be trusted for reasons like that. And they didn't overthrow. Literally, slavery was overthrown because of Christian values. Right, right. Like we worked that. And, and in the New Testament, Paul talks about how there's no slave. There's neither Greek nor Jew mm -hmm. nor slave nor free, no man nor woman. Like these are the premises on which slavery was eventually overthrown. It was found in right. the Bible. But what I'm realizing is he's not wrong. There are passages in like the old testament where it's like hey masters do this with your slaves right, slaves right. do this to your master you know what i mean mm -hmm. it sets like these confines and these rules within slavery and people are like well why did they do that don't they know slavery is wrong i don't, <laughs> I don't know yeah, i don't what? know I, I don't know if it's wrong and the thing is well not slavery as existed in america but slavery as existed in the roman the greek time the ancient ancient times um because it wasn't a race thing. Everybody was enslaved to everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was either a debt thing or you were conquered. And this is right. either death or come work for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, but Jesus and the apostles didn't come and overthrow right. the existing system they were a part of. Mm -hmm. What they did was they gave, um, they gave ideas, they gave uh, concepts and and rules on how to how to navigate within your existing system. Right. You know well, Sermon on the Mount, right? Like it's like he changed the way we look at things and, you know, with anger, right? And lust and all kinds of things and uh, serving people. And um, so it was a new way of living uh, in with, the system. Within the yeah, system. Within the system. Yeah, it, was think... a, it was a new paradigm for you to engage within the system. So it was, it was slaves obey your masters. Yeah. So I think w with what you said earlier about the slave thing, I think, it's not that slavery is okay. It's like there might be a there an okay way to do it. Right, right. You there's know, an, so there's an okay way to do it. Yeah, I mean, let's let's be honest because it, if listen, it was a death, this isn't a race thing. This is, yeah, that's because, not what we're no, talking about. No, of course not. It's not race at all. It's it, it's it's like, hey, man, we are, but we're also slaves, like to the system, right? We we oh, deliberately, for sure. you know, we for talk about sure. slavery, but we deliberately Such a joke. enslave ourselves to the system Absolutely. every listen, single day. We're enslaved. If you yeah. have a mortgage, you're enslaved right. for right. 
the next 30 years. Right. You've signed that con you've signed the contract. Right. At the bank. Yeah, you agree <laughs> to, to become a slave to 100%. that bank. You do that with, with all things, right? Car loans, it, student loans, home yeah. loans, credit card loans, anything. Yeah. You are enslaved. So like by will. There's a way though you can live in that, you know, right? So like if masters were to treat their their the the slaves right exactly. differently and exactly. Well, I mean that's different. If they're paying off a debt, hey, that's their way of paying off a debt, right? That was that was one of the forms, the indentured right. I think it's indentured servitude. I don't know if that's what it is, but it might be. That was mm -hmm. one of the forms of slavery was right. that you owed money and so you worked for this person to pay off that debt. Okay. Right. Well, how's that any different than what we do with banks? Right. We owe money. Mm -hmm. We go to work to pay off those debts. Right. It's the same freaking thing. Yeah. It's just this is and called a loan. You lose it all. And, yeah. and if you don't, you lose it all. This yeah. is or you go to prison. Or you go to prison. Yeah. Or you go to freaking jail. That's the exact yeah. same thing. It's the we same just, thing. We're using different words. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get it, Dennis. Get it. It's so man, it's Florida. Oh, oh, gross. It's the worst. And 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 here's the other thing, man. Like how there's so many people. If the sound, I mean, it sounds kind of messed up, but if you think about it, if slave masters were good people, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. the kind of person the Bible tells masters to be, right? Okay, love your servants, treat them well, treat others like you'd want to be treated, just all these like great principles. If that's what slave masters were like, and they're just these like affluent, super mega rich mm -hmm. people, okay, who have servants that they love and treat well. If you're just some guy that like doesn't have anything in his life, has nothing going for him, no future. If some guy's like, hey, come work for me. I'll give you food. I'll give you shelter. I'll take care of you. Right. I'll take care of your kids. I'll give you clothes. Yep. Um, you're, you're going to spend your time working anyway. Come do it for me, but I'll take care of you. Bro, for the rest of your life. If someone offered that to me right now, I'd freaking like, take that. <laughs> like, hey man, listen, and you I got nothing to, go, to like, worry tend about. Your yeah. Herds? yeah, you come work with me, I'll, you know, and I'll take care of you for the rest of your life. Like, and your kids, and, and your like, kids. And, yeah, and, yeah, 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 as, yeah. As we flourish, like, yeah, you like, flourish, and yeah. you and can we'll work your way together. Exactly. We will, you know, we'll be here to carry each other's burdens. We'll be helping each other, right? It's not we're not taking advantage of each other. We're you helping. Have you right? have community with the other yeah. workers. Like, yeah. dude, it sounds amazing. Like, but who, that's, ca who cares that? Like, oh no, I'm doing it for one person for the rest of my life. So what? Yeah. You don't have to worry about retirement. You don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about freaking right. anything, anything. And you're, and you're good. You're taken care of. But and the you, problem, the problem mm -hmm. is that humans are sinful. Well, yeah. And that right. the masters will be evil. Exactly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the freaking problem. And so that's why within whatever system, if Jesus would have came today, he wouldn't have overthrown the political rule of Donald Trump and said he shouldn't be Caesar. You know what I mean? Right. He would have, he would work within the confines yeah. of the existing system that he's he he manifested in or whatever appeared in. You know, and the disciples would do the same. It wouldn't matter what time in human history Jesus appeared. He would have worked within the confines of yeah. that society and yeah. those cultures. You know, yeah. Um, that yeah. was, that's something that I realized, and this goes back to our conversation about Matrix, right? Um, if, like, if Jesus and the apostles didn't preach against and talk about overthrowing the system and implementing the kingdom, like right here and now, the perfect kingdom, we need to bring it about right now. That never happened, okay? What he did was give people, like, ideas of how to operate within the existing kingdom for their own good and for God's glory. Okay. Hang on. That's a really important statement. What you just said there. Hang on. So like, I just want clarity. So you're saying, are you saying that when Jesus came, um, he just showed us a way to live within, but we're not really living and walking in the kingdom until we die. Oh yeah. I don't think that the kingdom of heaven is it's it's it is here but it's not here right it's the now but not yet concept that exists like in a lot of places in the bible things are true but they're not fulfilled yet right um and some people say that's because of the like timelessness of god right he's out of time so he sees things for example we are called justified we are called sanctified mm -hmm. 
even though we're still alive. But yeah. we're sinners. Yeah, we're sinners, and we're Dennis yeah, still we're says not, shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. So, so these things are true before God because He sees us through the work of Christ already, but they're not fully fulfilled because we are still sinners. You know what I mean? Um, and in the same way, I do think Jesus brings the kingdom, but it's not yet fulfilled as it will be in the eternal state, new heavens, new earth, Christ is the king on the planet, physically ruling and reigning for eternity. That's the kingdom of heaven. Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Yes. But we can definitely, because he's in us and we are working within this system, the kingdom of heaven is currently at work in this world. But it will be fulfilled one day, I believe. Okay. See what I'm saying? I, I, I totally see what you're saying. And I think that most um, evangelicals will believe exactly what, what you said, at least the ones who are paying attention. Cameron would disagree. Yes. And I want to say this, and I'm glad you, that's perfect that you said Cam, because you know how you guys, we have different views on the eschatology of, Feet. you know, thousand year reign and all this, Feet. you know, as I'm learning more about kingdom living, I, my mind can't help but go to what Cam actually um, has been telling or, you know, saying that he, what he oh, believes <laughs> because it does make sense to me when you look at that, see this, okay, let me just back up by saying, I agree with what your statement was there because you added the word fulfilled in, for the kingdom um, when and you have a new earth. But I do believe right now in my life that the kingdom of God can be lived in and walked in today. Um, in a, in not fully, right? But in some sense, yes. Like, in we we get a taste of it now. Not fully because it, it's not everybody. It's not everybody. You're not going to do it perfectly. Correct. You don't even know what it is, really. Correct. Correct. We have like a semblance of what we got an idea mm -hmm. of what it is. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. we're just doing our best. There will be a time where the kingdom yeah. will be here and we will okay. all be in it living perfectly. Totally you know agree with saying? that. Yeah, I think we're on the same page there for sure. But... I do want to say, though, that there is this, there should be more emphasis and focus on us as Christians to want to live in that kingdom living every single day and not just give in to the things of this world. And yeah. it's not about um, the, the matter of sin, because when we talk about like giving in, we're like thinking about sin, right? Like, oh, okay, just don't give in to your anger. Don't give in to your lust. Don't give it into your greed. Um, those things are, are, are huge, of course, but it's, it's more than focusing on like, like lust, for example, lust, like for a man and for women too, I'm sure it, the issue, the issue of lust is the, the, the lack of satisf satisfaction. The reason why we lust is because we're not satisfied. So, um, addressing satisfaction in our lives is the way to get rid of lust or at least to learn how to resist and flee from it when it comes. Um, and again, you try to do it the best you can, but we're human. But there's this way of living where if you understand what it means to and how to attain satisfaction in the love of Jesus through practices and disciplines and spending time with him and your thoughts, you know, how Paul says, think of what's lovely and true and honorable and, you know, all that, that long list. If we are thinking of those things and not putting in four hours of a stupid Tyson fight, right? Like, because listen, that- listen, Where we see Tyson in a thong. Oh my gosh. That is probably like- And then lust the after most, it. Because <laughs> we're unsatisfied. <laughs> oh, jeez. I did not expect that. It's uh, amazing. I actually like, took a, a snapshot out of it. It was amazing. But um, that was definitely the highlight for me. But um, 
you know, I thought I, I spoke about it with my buddies. I'm like, look, four hours. We just like totally gave ourselves to this. Now, was watching a, a boxing, a rigged boxing match. You know, bat. By the way, the first two fights before that were actually pretty, really good. They were really good. The, the women's fight was really good. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think she won a minute Christian too, the one who won. But okay. I don't think she should have won though. I think the other one should have won. But anyway, um, I, uh, you know, we, we, we wasted literally four hours of our lives just like doing that. We, we walked away with absolutely nothing. Anger. Yeah. And just, and, and talking like just, you know, whatever, spending more time talking about it and just like, you know, and yeah. arguing with people about if it was rigged or not, whatever. Like, do you see like what that did? It captured us and enslaved us. It, 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 and we just willingly just did it. Now, and I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be a legalist and be like, okay, don't watch, you know, anything like throw your TV away. No. But be aware of this and understand that, you know, we, you wasted all this time and to do things better next time, like to just, just change that part of your life. Like, Hey, you don't really need that. Like, I, I guarantee you, if you tried to spend four hours with God, like, uh, it'd be so hard. Yes. At first, but like, Ben, like, and how do I say this without like trying to sound? Um, no, 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 nothing towards you. It's, 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 it's totally directed to myself. Uh -huh. Okay. 42 two years of my life. I spent maybe probably a total of like two to five minutes a day thinking on, I wouldn't even say if it's that much because my prayers were just whatever. Like right. I don't even, you know, right, 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 right. Um, and, and, and this is coming from a guy who served in church like my whole life, you know, and like was on staff. Like I was, right. you know, like how sad is that? Um, and I've seen in the last two years of my life where when you say spending four hours with God is so hard, it's like, it's actually not like, it's wonderful. And I get to do that. And I'm, and I'm not saying that you have to do that. I'm just saying like, I'm just so happy that I get to do that. I know that if I, if the Lord ever wills it for me to get married again, I probably won't have that much time, you know, but like. Dude, yeah, man. right. If your freaking future wife brings you down, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to kick some ass. No, she has to, she has to be. She has she to has be on board. To, she, yeah, I can't, I can't. Ladies. And this is why I can't find anybody. Yeah. This is why, because the, you know, the ones I do talk to, it's like, look, and it's not anything towards them. It's just, we're just different places. They're, they're in the lives, matrix, you know? bro. They're in the matrix. You know what you Most need? Star. An angel. I need a Jewish, Messianic Jewish one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hello. I keep, I keep, Hello. I keep saying they're that. Gonna, hey, they're going <laughs> to, they're going to force you. No, man. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I'm telling you, Ben, like there's things that we could do. We can't change ourselves, but there's things that we can change in our lives so that the Holy Spirit can actually change us. And it, and, and not just us, it'll change our relationships. Oh man. Oh man. Will it change our relationships? Yeah. Um, uh, with spouses, with kids, um, uh, with work, um, I've seen it over and over and over again. Then when people really implement this and there's other times where people just don't want to implement it. And, and that's the sad part, man. I see people who are like, yes, I want my marriage to be fixed, but they won't leave the other person alone. Right. You know, and it's like, no, you don't, you know, this, it goes back to what Jesus said to the, to the paralytic at the, at the, at the pool. Um, do you want to be healed? Yeah. I love that question. I used to no. think like, why would you ask that question, God? And Jesus said, do you want to be healed? You have to ask that question first. Like, do you even want to be healed? Do you understand what healing means? Healing can really mean like taking a lot of things out of your life. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of healing means dying to yourself. Letting someone else come and, you know, rip you open and, and start fixing you and working on the parts that hurt, you know, on the... Um, but Ben, I see the results, man. I right. see the results and it's life changing, dude. And it's, it's incredible to witness, uh, the good and the bad, but the good is just so encouraging and, and edifying. Um, it's, uh, and that's why I think that we can live, we can start living in the kingdom now 
We don't have to wait until we're dead. For sure, for sure. I think we can start that now. We can make changes in our life that will yeah, we not just... We could experience it. Right. Not just, oh, I need to stop watching porn or I need to, you know, it's yeah. not just that. This is not what the Christian life is. It's like, okay, just don't do this. You know, it's like, what did Driscoll always just say? Driscoll, I don't smoke. I don't chew. I don't do, go out with girls to do, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that, that saying, like, that's not what that life, this life is about. He didn't come just to save us. He came to change us. And um, I'm experiencing that, Ben. And I get to like live yeah. in that with people. And it's really, really cool. Um I mean, it's the most gratifying thing of my entire life, to be honest, um, to see that in someone else and in my own mm -hmm. life, uh, has been incredible. And in my daughter, like to see mm -hmm. like incredible things. She's like, dad, can I just read you something the other day? She was on a walk. She called me and she's like, can I read you something I wrote? And I'm like, who, who is this person? Like she's wrote this beautiful thing that was a, from her, that she took from her devotional. And I'm like, this is incredible. Like, yeah, that's great, man. And I see that, but it, that, that didn't happen unless it's like constant, like talking about it and praying about it and asking God, to, the Holy Spirit to come and help us. Cause we're weak, dude. We can't do this ourselves, man. We suck so bad. We need the word of God and the Holy Spirit. And I, I tell this to somebody the other day, I'm like the Holy Spirit, if you're not filling your mind with the things of God, like scripture, uh, the Holy Spirit has nothing to use. Like he's got nothing to pull right, from. Right, like when right. he needs to, to remind you of things and to help you that it, it there's, you know, it's like me walking the other day and like, God, I just want to hear your voice. And he's like, read, read the Bible. You know, it's like, it's in it through the scripture is when right. you hear his voice, man. It's so beautiful and simple. Sorry. I know I get hot on this stuff. Cause I just like, okay, Hey, bro, I'll fine. I'll put my phone in the other room. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. I, I already told you. <laughs> okay. I'll stop. <laughs> One win. Okay. We got to win. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks for letting me rant for a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. No worries, bro. That's well, what I care about. Um, I get it. I get it. You're you're feeling it. I'm seeing it too. Seeing it. This was fun, man. This we went a long time. I got to get off now, though. I got to get back to know, work into the too. system. I got to go oh dive, dive, dive back into the hey, system. <laughs> hey, oh, what, is, what would it be like if you lived in the kingdom? Get your ass back in the system, you freaking hypocrite! Get out of here. <laughs> Oh man, I'm trying to see. I'm living it more than you are, bro. I don't even wash my hair. <laughs> You're about I to think if I, if, I think I might do that. I think I might do that. Your hair looks okay. Thank you. But looks it's, pretty it's, full. Uh, pretty full. It's getting white, dude. Look at that. Look how white that is. It's crazy. Yeah, you're pretty peppery. Well, bro. Good another one you, in then. the books. Yeah, man. Oh, sugar. sugar. Sugar's time to go. So I said it's time to go. I know. She said bye. Hey, thanks guys for hanging out with us. Um, if you've been, if you got to this point, I really appreciate. Every listener, you better um, put your phone in the other room if you got to this point. Yes, yeah, in the morning. Or do else, not, like Janice is going to freaking chew you out next time. <laughs> and if you disagree, comment and say, like, and, share, comment. Yeah, and if you if someone else needs to hear my rant, send it to them. Um, we all need to hear your rant, uh, Dennis. Thank you guys for for hanging out with us. Thank you, Ben, for making time. It's good to see you, buddy. Um, I keep think that's your, keep Josh in your prayers. Yes, but keep our friend Josh Peck and his family in, um, in your prayers. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll have him on soon. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great conversation. The devil's trying to keep him away again. So this will be the second time. All right. It's true. All right, guys. Love See you on the next one. Take care. Peace. See ya.